Hello everyone, this is Rex Red, and I am back with another awesome Easy 3D TV tutorial today. We have an excellent connection. And I will, um, I've had uh, somebody leave a comment talking about the stream and how, why I end up with uh, streaming issues <clears throat> and I you know I'm gonna try and explain today we have no more microphone I'm trying an experiment today and that is to put the microphone over my head and so as you can see it's right there and so what happens if I, cause I, I like to like move around sometimes and I will move around and I'll kind of sit like this and the next thing I know I've moved away from my microphone and then I get all quiet and people say, oh, we can't hear you Rex, you know? And so we're gonna try this. The only problem with this is it picks up the planes going overhead. It picks up cars going by outside. I have a double plane double pane glass window, which kind of keeps some of the noise out. So back to, and we have a new keyboard kind of set up today. I've, I'm using a, it's one I had in a drawer. I'm just using a smaller keyboard uh, that is, the smaller keyboard takes up a little bit less screen real estate. I have a new setup with my camera. My camera is pointing down from the ceiling now and it's no longer hanging over like about this high and getting in the way of my camera. So now my camera is flush straight on. This is nice. I have no more. I feel like I've kind of lost something, some kind of security blanket or thing that I, the microphone was always like something to kind of hide behind, you know, or just something that was with me and now it's like gone and I feel kind of helpless. We're with a wide, wide camera, wide angle lens. It's not the new, I have a new camera coming. I finally decided to buy the, uh, a to buy a full framed camera so yeah um on for this channel because it's doing so well considering i'm not monetized i don't make any money from this channel and i have been broadcasting for four years uh and it's still not monetized but that's okay you know everything's okay i'm okay with youtube they take care of me on my other channel and everything is glorious so um as uh betty bowers would say so we are we are doing well we are doing well and i'm going to make sure that i don't that I don't distort in my channel here. Yeah, it looks like we're doing well that in that regard. Okay, about streaming, okay? Why my channel sometimes has streaming issues and I, I, we're not, we're, I'm not gonna talk this, talk too much about this. We're gonna jump it right into Daz, but why 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 um why does it have streaming issues well because we have um i am at the mercy of an internet company that that's you know spectrum the wires go down sometimes they have issues sometimes my whole street goes down sometimes the whole city goes down sometimes just part of the city goes it's just all dependent on on the the, the internet cable provider plus that I'm using a streaming computer and I've been trying to figure out how to do things and like if I hook up a webcam to my streaming computer the webcam doesn't have a dedicated processor in it it requires my com streaming computer to process the video coming from the the sensor on the webcam and that processing can be quite involved, especially if I'm broadcasting in 4K, my video in 4K, from because it's a Brio webcam, 
So it, it, all of a sudden, my graphics card is working really hard, and then I'm also trying to broadcast the stream at the same time. And so really, the be, you know, it's taken me a while to figure out that what I need to do is have like a, have phones, cameras, and fully dedicated cameras that actually do all the processing within the camera, all the color and the white balance and shutter speed and all that stuff within the camera so that my that it only just sends a video feed out and my computer can just say, oh, there's the feed and not have to process that feed. So that is another issue that I have had to deal with because I can be in the middle of of broadcasting and suddenly my computer is just saying who gets the priority does does the streaming compute does the streaming or does this camera and who and who gets and st suddenly my streaming software stops sending video because it's trying to give the priority to the webcam so i fixed that by now i use fully dedicated cameras that have all the processing within them and they just send the feeds so this keyboard right here is now coming not coming from a webcam it's coming from a sony camera uh, a sony dslr camera and right now my main uh, feed right now until the other camera comes and that's going to be coming soon uh, that will be another a full frame DSLR and right now I'm using my webcam which I don't really care for the color um, of this right now I think my skin looks just doesn't look like the right color but we'll see I'm gonna take a look at the video afterwards that is enough of this now what I want speaking of cameras I'm kind of on a camera thing okay so what I want to do today is I want to create a scene, but then I want to create what what I have now is this uh, product, and what this product does is it it allows you to. It allows you to have, well, you know, of course, several cameras in the scene, but each camera becomes like a scene unto itself. So if you switch the camera, you can change the poses, you can change the morphs on the figure, and then when you switch back to the other camera, it's supposed to have switch and have its own poses and own morphs and all of those things. So all of a sudden, I guess your figures just change their pose. I don't know. I've never used this before. So we also have some dramatic HDRI skies that um, we now have. This is going to be nice. This is from now I, when I move ahead, actually, my camera does. So I think I'm going to turn this camera so when I move ahead, it's actually still there. Okay, because this camera does is a dynamic mic, so we have to actually turn, turn this camera towards this. Okay, all right, so we're going to try some interesting stuff here. Uh, these are new, uh, look at this, mapping, blooming, contrast, uh, tone mapping. Okay, so 8K HDRIs, all right, so those are pretty cool right there. So what we're going to do first is I'm looking for this, we already did this right, okay, that is that. I'm going to open up Daz, the install manager, to make sure, and we'll close that down, to make sure that I installed these late, the latest thing. Oh, there. No, it's, okay, that's that. All right, because I am looking for a certain environment that isn't showing up here, let's go to environments. It's a, I believe, Venice environment, and so we're going to start a scene today with a Venice environment. And... We, um, 
I need to sci sci fi. Halls of Anubis, Azure Fields, Product ID, highest first. Okay, we wouldn't want the highest first. We What we want is uh, last update, install date. That's what we want. Recent first. To sort by the install date. And here we go. This is called escape. And let's put the set, merge that into our scene. I think my voice sounds better than it did like up close to the mic. I'm not sure, but it seems there's a little tiny bit of noise involved with this. I can hear it a tiny bit, but it's not too bad. It's workable here. All right, look at this. Okay, what, what, what's up with this boat, the props? Can we get the prop without the, the darned top on it? Okay, how do we do this? So there might be a way to do this. Let's go out of iRay. Okay, Habib, I am here. I am here. Oh, well, so we had Habib who was first here on the scene. Angus is often uh, very quiet. I hope the audio is good. See, no more microphone, people. There's no mic here anymore. It's hiding. It's say hello. Hi. That was the mic. <laughs> saying hello, all right, it's up above now, which means when I move around like this and like this, that it should kind of pick me up better than when it was close and then I'd move away and it was like, wow, I'm like moved far away and everything. I can still mute the mic and all of that. So um, like, hello. And even when I whisper, you can hear whisper and it like picks me up so yeah habib audio is 10 out of 10 thank you very much for that all right that's very nice habib i am glad that you that the audio is good because if it wasn't i'd have to fix it my little keyboard here is looks nice see my hands are white but my face right now is kind of um yellow orange so i have a new camera coming it's supposed to make my skin tones look right it's gonna be three it's three thousand dollar camera and yeah i am getting the very best for this for this broadcast for you guys for you for you viewers so you can have the very best um kind of uh, experience with me so when I move around I'm not you're not hearing my voice kind of fading coming in and out and a lot of times I talk under my breath and everything and I think you can still kind of hear me when I mutter to myself all right so we're gonna go and now and click here and see what happens okay the top the top uh, we can take that right off okay and we can take this off what about that? We can take the top off, all right. Well, that's nice. We got water in the boat. Why is there water in the boat? Escape rowboat. Let's see if this is all one piece. We don't need water in the boat. Okay, and how would we have this go without water in the boat? All right, what we're gonna do is we're going to turn the boat around. Turn the boat around. Where's the other oar? Oh, I guess they just need one oar. I'm not sure. Because they go on one side and then go on the other side and and that's the way it goes. That's the way it is. 
So we take and rotate this around like this. Now, and let's turn the, the back to iRay for a moment. That looks okay. So what we have to do is put a really nice sky in here. So we somewhere in here, by recent install date first, where are the new skies? So, and I also, um, hopefully I'm gonna be able to see uh, your chats when they pop up. Because I am recording in a very high quality here. So what we're going to do is work with a certain program today. If I can find it, we'll go to default. Okay, that's why it's not showing, because we were in environments. So we're going to go by install date first. We have a few new things that I'd like to do today. All right, leisure suit. Okay, we have. So today we have I we have some new road features from Martin Frost. Now see this camera magic pose add-on. Okay, and this is what uh, camera magic plus. Do not click. Do not click. Camera changed. So those, I guess, are part of the, these, the scripts that go here, and there's no way to hide them. So this, I guess, is our camera magic pose thing. Control, alternate, minus. We can do this. Let's put a camera in the scene right here. Edit. Where? All right. Um, so we're going to go to... Create new camera, and we're going to have one camera right where we're looking from here. All right. And now let's look through the camera. And welcome, people. Thank you very kindly for the likes. You are very kind. Okay, we're going to move this over. We're going to move this down a little bit so we can see more of the sky. And I think we're going to have two people sitting in the boat. And I think we have to bring the boat down even though it uh, gets water inside. You won't be able to see the water. Okay, and we'll move it over a little more this way. And I think we're going to have two people here in the boat sitting. And OK, so we're going to save this. And we're going to call this Venice. Venice. Uh, uh, romance. We'll call it that because that is what Venice is all about. So we're, we're, I'm not gonna, okay, now we're gonna add one more camera, create new camera, and we'll take and just apply the default scene. And then let's look through camera two. Oh, it says escape camera. Okay, that is a camera that came with this scene. And we're going to delete that. So I'm, I don't. Oh well, maybe we'll keep the escape camera. And what we'll do is we'll move our boat back here. See, I don't know how far that we can. Can do this. Okay, our we have our escape camera. We're going to pull it down a little more like this, and pull the boat over a little more. That's better. It's a little bit more. Okay, we're going to... Oops. Why is that so sensitive? Oh, because I... 
Oh, this is really strange. It's like the camera is not, it's like something's locked in the camera. Okay, so what we're gonna do, because I don't like the way this camera responds, we're gonna type in camera up here so we can find the camera and we're gonna delete it. And then we'll take our camera one and we'll move it back. I just don't trust that camera. Okay. Up, but up, up, dee dup, dee dup, dee. All right, and we're gonna just zoom like this. I believe I can do this as well. And then we're gonna come down. And now when I do this, it responds properly. Okay, a little bit like this. Bring our boat down a little more. Do we have the whole boat? No, there we go. Okay. Pull this over a little more like this so the boat is in the center. I'm such a... Oh, I just quibble over so many of these things. All right, that looks good. And now we have to put, okay, let's save this. So we have two cameras in the scene. What happens when we open this camera plus? Camera. Okay, what happened to my camera? <laughs> uh oh, it changed the name of it, I think. Camera plus. <laughs> Capture visibility data to camera. All right. Well, it just took out my... Why did it move my camera? It like moved the camera to the center of the scene again. Okay, so there's only this one script. You click on the camera. Now there's a very long So we're in camera one. Okay. I believe we have to set the scene up before Let's just push this way over and get it right here. Okay, like this. So the boat is in the center. Okay. And we're going to bring this down a little like that up a little bit like this. Well, we want some sky in here. All right, let's put some figures in the scene because that's what this is all about is the props. I think the first thing I actually want to do is put some kind of sky in here that I can actually see because everything's kind of gray and dingy. And I have a new sky I can't believe I don't have this microphone in front of me and it's like I'm constantly dealing with this thing in front of me. It's just the first time in a long time that I have not had to deal with this microphone. It's just so much better having this microphone out of my periphery. <laughs> just so much better. So much better. And you know, I can now, well, except for when I record can kind of leave the microphone where it is, except when I record. Now we are, this is what we're looking for here. 
render settings and let's pick this guy. And that's nice, but now we have to go to parameters, select our environment, select the environment. You're going to let me select. Okay. And then we're going to rotate the dome until we get something pretty up there. Oh, this is nice. We could go with something like this and put like a lantern on the side of the boat. But the sky is too contrasty. Let's go to around in here. I don't like the way the boat is so shiny. I think I take, I'll be taking some of the shine off of the boat. Rowboat, surfaces, escape rowboat, glossy, what would we do? We just add a little bit of roughness to it. And take some of this sh shine here and darken it a little bit. There we go. Now when we take and go to our environment options. See, I'm whispering again, and I think you can actually hear me while I'm muttering to myself. So that is a good thing. Now para parameters. Dome rotation, when we bring it here. Yeah, see now the boat isn't quite so shiny. But I think that gray look isn't working either. So we go select the boat again, go to surfaces, and we select the rowboat. And then maybe if we bring this down towards the black more. Yeah, see, just maybe up a little bit. Yeah, see, that's a little better, I think. What about the rudder? The rudder needs the same thing. Bring down this a little bit. And bring, okay, that's good. Now what I did was I brought the roughness up. I don't think we need the roughness up on this. Yeah. Okay, I like that now. And we'll take the rowboat and bring it down a little bit more. Okay, now let's save this and let's put, we're going to put one person sitting and looking back with their hand on the, on the oar. I was thinking of one standing, but they don't want their back to us. Oh, what we could do is switch the, spin the boat around, turn the boat around like they're coming towards us. And then what we could do is have one person in the front standing with the oar in their hand. Oh, and look at this. We have a light in the front. Okay, and this light has got some kind of weird... The lantern has a weird thing here. We're going to take and get rid of that. Lantern handle. Uh, like a round orb. We'll get rid of the orb so that we can put, we'll put, okay, in lantern glass, lantern light. Okay, I think in this, this lantern light here thing, let's see what happens when we bring the cutout. Okay, that's not even there. Lantern glass. I might end up using my own lantern. Yeah, I think we get rid of the lantern. Backspace. Escape. Delete. Now let's find our own lantern. Oh, look out that I like that pink. But I what I want to do is take the environment and make it a little darker. And 
we'll have somebody sitting here and then the this the person rowing with the oar and, and standing and rowing and then we'll have the but I want it a little darker so we'll go to this environment hello Anus welcome friend welcome Anus it's very nice to have you here. Very, very nice. We have five people here. Thank you for coming. And we had, don't, my microphone's gone. No more microphone in front of me. So, yes, it's hanging over my head. And now we got this little teeny keyboard. So, we don't have this big, gigantic keyboard with so many keys, and I'm only using like three of them constantly. So, yeah, so a smaller keyboard, we get to see it a little bit bigger. In fact, I could probably make that a little bit bigger, just to kind of stretch it out here a little bit more. Okay, so you can see what I'm typing. That is the E key right there. Yeah, so... My mic, my uh, camera is directly overhead now, hanging from the ceiling. I have a DSLR hanging over my head. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't come down and conk, my, conk me in the head while I'm... I think I've got it up there pretty good, so... Or the whole ceiling doesn't come down on me. So... Um, look, check this product out. You know, I've, I've showed you this 3D Digitimes where you can take and lock Genesis 9. You can lock their arms, you can lock their legs, you can lock their whole body except their hands. Well, this is a pretty cool thing because these are for Genesis 8, but you can just go and also use this script that which is the uh, as as once you have the pose selected, maybe we'll work with this here um, today. But notice all the hand poses, you know, because hands are like the worst part because you have to you, you when you want something and you know kind of know what you want, but then you say, oh gosh, I've got to move all the knuckles and all the fingers. This will get the hand kind of in the the ballpark, especially things like this and that. This would be probably work very well with grabbing the oar, okay? And maybe even this one with the other hand, and then I could just twist it, and they would kind of hold the oar. So this is a pretty nice set with all kinds of hands all in one place, a lot of them. And uh, this they say left or right. Um... But I, yeah, you, they we have to put them on the left or the right. So, um, but as you can see, <laughs> there are a lot of poses in this section. And I got this; it was, it was in my wish list. Um, I might recommend keeping things, uh, anything that you even sort of like, put it in your wish list because Daz has those wish list sales. And when the way they word the wish list sale is, it has to have been in your wish list for at least. What's that squeaking? Is it my table or? I'm gonna have to figure out what's making the noise. So um, it's got squeak. All right, so <laughs> having the mic louder is going to pick everything up in the room. So, all right, so. Yeah, there's something on the table. I don't know. I'll figure it out and put some oil on it, some machine oil or something on it. Okay, so this hand thing is, is very helpful. And as you can see, look how many come with this. And of course, they're all copies for the left and right and everything. But uh, they're uh, now these are the right hand ones. So it's it's a lot of hand poses. So put things into your wish list because 
when there is a wish list sale, it says that it has to have been in your wish list for over a month. But right now, you can get five wish list items. If you buy something new, one, one of the new items, which I bought a clothing set, then you get, you can buy five wish list items, things that you've wanted for 70% off, and you can't add any more, but I, I don't even think you can add your, uh, your, uh, what are they called, uh, tokens with it. So it's just 70% off, that's it. So, but, um, when you think that something that's like a hundred dollars in, you know, like a big teaching, uh, tutorial or something, you could get it for 30 bucks, you know, um, which normally you'd pay a hundred dollars for. So which $30 is a lot of money, but then you figure you're going to have that awesome tutorial. Okay. So that's something I just wanted to show you. I know, I know why you... A lot of you come here. It's because you know that I have 10,000 Daz items and you want to see me show you how, you know, like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that existed and I didn't know that existed. I'm going to try to do that. So, because that's what we're going to work on today is this camera pose thing. And we're going to bring this so that this boat is right up close so to our camera so that the uh, so we're going to have one person, maybe this is the way to do it, is have one. No, I'm going to have the rower stand here, and we'll kind of, we'll turn it, so yeah, like that. So the rower stands here, and then we have another person sitting in the back. And, uh, okay, so I don't dare lock the camera because we're going to be doing this camera magic pose plus poses. It's called camera magic plus poses. And in order to use this, you have to have the pose magic. Let's uh, go to Zidaz store. Okay. Another good hands and arm poses by Rare Stone. Let's see this uh, uh, Rare Stone. I don't know if it will come up with Let's look and see. Face morphs. Do, 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 do. Face uh, morph collection. What's what's it actually called, uh, Anus? Is it? Uh, it's what's the name of the the uh, rare stone product? Now this one right here that we're where that I'm looking at is called hand gestures okay so we go to hand all sweet i believe okay let's see so now this is uh these are hand gestures uh uh artistic hands for genesis 9 and 8 female so that means don't put them on your males because they're for females all right <laughs> and Hand, DT hand poses for Genesis 9. <laughs> yeah, because men definitely don't do those things with their fingers. We've got some uh, more emblematic metamorphic Genesis for Genesis 9. And uh, all, all hand poses. There you are for the Genesis. This is for the Genesis females again. Which doesn't matter because this... I believe this pose, yes, it works with uh, this script up here that I use. It's a pose converter. It works with Genesis 8.1, Genesis 8, 8, and Genesis, Genesis 3. It works with all three of those, not Genesis, though, um, but it also um, works with um, male and female. And so all you have to do is select uh, select the pose, like go here and select the pose you want, then go up to the script, run the script, which would be here, and it will put, you just run the script and it will put the, the pose on the figure. 
It doesn't matter. It will automatically detect if it is from Genesis 8, Genesis 8 1 or Genesis 3 and convert it to Genesis 9. And this is called the Genesis 3, Genesis 3 and 8 to 9 pose convert. It does it right on the fly. Okay? So you don't have to have them all converted and then put them in a folder and then search down through the folder to find them all. You just, when you see the pose, you click on it and make sure it's selected it's like yellow. See, like this, it's yellow. And once it's yellow, just put the script up in here in your scripts thing. And, and then uh, click on this and instantly. But the thing is, is if it's a full body pose, what you do is then you go to this Digitimes. So we're going to work with it. I'm explaining it now. And what's better is if I show you how all of this pose stuff works. So because I'm going to have to do something with the, the rower, he's going to be standing here and rowing. And we'll twist his body. We'll try to find, and someone's going to be sitting in the back. I think I'm going to use two males because, you know, that's my thing. So um, there's going to be a male in the back and sitting, and then one uh, one of the uh, a male uh, rowing. And maybe the male rowing will be... Uh, this environment set is called Escape, okay? And I got this also today. It's called Escape. Let's take a look at this, too. This is a beautiful set, of, of, uh, apparently, obviously. So, um, yeah. This was $22.95. I got it for 6 bucks. So, um, on a 70% 70 70 off sale... This is kind of an old product, but I mean, look at this. This is pretty nice. And this really doesn't, um, this doesn't really do, this doesn't do it justice because, I mean, look at this actually, you know. And right now I was going to go into the parameters and if I just turn my, rotate this a little more, it'll get darker. And that's what I want is this dark so that the, so that the lantern in the front. So we need to find another lantern. I have a ton of lanterns, like every kind of lantern in the world. So well, we're going to do some lantern. Let's just T E R N lantern. So I told you, look at all these lanterns. Well, you see that just every kind of lantern you can imagine. I'm a lantern freak. So uh, this one right here, Genesis 8 female, they, they expect to go in somebody's hand, but we're, we're not going to put it in a hand. Um, these ones come with a chain and all of that stuff. And... Let's find something nice, but not something that's kind of out of place. This looks nice. We have to make sure that it's, if it's not, I can put my own flame inside of it, but then the glass, we want to make sure that it's actually, all right, what I want to do to with this scene before we get too far into everything is other than the cameras, I want to put all of this into a group. So we're going to go to... Um, 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 here we go. Uh, group, and we're going to go scene, all. My keyboard's a little clackety. All right, so then we can now go to this. And I'm going to go to parameter perspective view, and we're going to go in here and look. And where, okay, what I want to do is move my boat to the center of the scene. So we're going to zoom out a little bit like this. At least we can see it all here. And I'm going to move all of this. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this. It's just to kind of put, so that when I bring my figures in and I bring in, oops, that's down, Z, control Z, this one. So we pull this, uh, let's see, which way have I got to pull this? 
That's close enough. All right, so now we gotta go back to our camera and we'll move it in and over and in. And turn this a little bit like that. And now let's look at this in iRay and make sure I didn't mess something up. Yeah, I had this Venice, this uh, escape scene in my library in my wish list. And so I was able to get the today's sale that they have. I go here, pull this down a little more. All right, and okay, so let's bring in, let's bring in a lantern and see what happens, because the reason why I did this is because when the lantern comes in, I just didn't want it like to be far away, and uh, oh, look at that. See, this is nice. It's, you can see, it's, this is eye ray. And it's going to have a little chain link and everything to, to link it to it. I might have to rescale it a bit. Let's go to texture shaded mode. And down. And we will have to scale this, bring it back a little bit. Let's look at this from the right. Now from the perspective view, let's zoom in on it, turn it. Well, this is kind of like a broken link. So what we want to do is make a couple of links disappear maybe. If I don't think we, yeah, we can. We can hide them. I don't think I need to. I don't think you're going to be able to see this link if I go like this and just kind of do that. From the front. I don't think you'll be able to tell it's not a link. See that? I can't tell that's not a link, but it's too big. <laughs> it's like way too big. It would like make the whole ship capsize. So we're going to scale this. That wouldn't be good. All right, I just scale the building. I don't think I wanted to do that. Now we're going to take this the stall lantern and scale this down. Wow, it scaled right from the top. That was nice. And then go back to our camera view. Let's go to iRay and see what this looks like. Dangly little camera. I mean a little lantern sitting there in the front. Okay, now I this sun coming from this area, I just I think I'm gonna want this just all dark in here. So because I'm gonna put I'm gonna make it seem like this this lantern is putting off l more light by adding little lights here and there to, to kind of make it seem like it's casting out light really far away. Oh thank you for the likes. You people are so nice to me. Thank you very, very much. We're going to make this a little smaller, just a wee bit smaller, so it's not too distracting. That looks nice. And uh, now we're going to go back to our environment. Now your, um, your suggestions are all, um, you're, you, you are Welcome to make suggestions if you'd like into this into this scene. So um, let's work on this together. And now the um, the worst that could happen is I could bite your head off and say no. <laughs> I I try not to be. I try to be nice. I try. I really try to be nice. You know I. It, it's it's not like I should have to try. I should just 
be nice, you know? So, but, um, <laughs> so, and, you know, I, I'm new to, I'm new kind of to having people work with me, you know, and that's what this is about. It's about having pe people work with me and, and be part of this experience. Now I could, I think I might have lights like li like flames and all that are going to look more realistic than that so we might mess around with the light inside of there to make it look it right now it's just like one color and I'm not, I'm not happy with that so we could just turn that off and then I could use some kind of flame and put it in there uh some kind of new style flame like a uh oh thank you we got more likes than we have people watching so all right thank you for the likes people it's very kind of you very kind so okay we have on off we have some options with this lant lantern we also have like a frosted emissive strong we could go with the emissive strong and see what that looks like Okay, I think we have to, to select the lantern. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, maybe, all right, so let's, I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna probably, oh, this is the lan a lantern here. No, so that's, it's, something's wrong with that. I'm gonna change that file anyway, so now let's find a couple of figures to bring into our scene. I'm going to uh, take a moment and talk about Genesis 8, Genesis 8-1, and Genesis 3 figures. Don't use them. It's just don't use those figures, okay? You... Your, you know, your memory of them is much better than they really are, okay? And you really just want to start collecting Genesis 9 figures and use them because they look so much, much better in your scene. Let's put Jesus in this one. Um, we'll put Jesus in here. He'll be the one rowing. Of course. And so let's just unselect this so he doesn't show up inside the lantern. I don't think he would, but you know, let's just make sure we don't have anything selected. And it's just, I, I, I go and I use and I say, oh, I never used that Genesis 8 figure before. I bought it, but I've never used it. Let's use that in the scene. And they just come out horrible. They, it's just their, their textures don't really go right with the new, with the kind of the new IRA and the way IRA kind of works. They don't respond right. The PBR textures are so much nicer. It's just really just, my advice is just don't ever use them. What, if you want to use a Genesis 8 figure, what you do is you convert the the gen all your genesis 8 figures to genesis 9 and in and you don't use those converted figures you just use the morphs that come with their with their heads and you just take your genesis 9 figure and put like callan's face on them or you put um uh, Bruce's face or any of your other figures you just change the geometry and leave the skin the way it, the way it is now this is interesting because there he's a little bit bigger than I kind of thought he'd be but that's good all right so let's go to here we're going to illuminate him with some some uh lighting so that this is going to light him up like this lantern is going to be kind of bright we're going to put some fog in here a little bit of uh like mist coming up off the water and so we're going to go to tone it's just my advice. Every time, almost every time I use, a, like I'll use a Genesis 9 figure and a Genesis 8 figure and say, oh, I'd really like to pair them with that Genesis 8 figure. 
it's just they, the Genesis 8 figure just ends up looking horrible. And it's just, it's almost every single time. And really what you want to do is, like I said, just change their head. Just change, convert all, use the Rissy. It's the it's called the uh, uh, Rissy River Soft and Sickly Yield. Use their converter. Make a huge folder of all your converted figures. And what then what they do. Now, when I show you this, select John 9. And I go in here to this. The, here are all of my Genesis 8 heads. Well, I could just go to where I would go to actor, head, and that narrows them down a little bit. There's Zach's head. There's, uh, I have mostly male characters, but there's uh, Taurus and Thomas and Roy and, and Rodrigo and Red's Matt Mateo and... Oh, and I, did all, I have all of my Genesis 8 and 8 1 heads, and I can just put it on him, but I would have to take, like, that's what I was thinking. I'll just take the Genesis 9 head and turn it off, which is probably is a really nice head. And then you just go to here to the heads here and give, and you don't want to dial it all the way up. You just want to dial it, or you can mix and match just like you were do, used to do with, uh, with Genesis 8. You just mix and match, and uh, uh, we'll use a little bit of, I, I'm already kind of thinking of who I want to be in here. Um, you would use, where, okay, I'm thinking uh, Casper, where's Casper's? No, it was spelled with a K, K. Casper, okay. Uh, let's get it. Let's zoom right in on his face. Okay, John. Yeah, so there's way too much light here in this scene. I might use a different. Okay, and let's uh, now let's give him a little bit of Casper. Ca watch what I like about Casper is his lips are very full. He has these. Notice how his lips stick out like that they just kind of very beautiful and uh, and then let's also give him uh, a tiny bit of let's look through down through here Casper and so I, I have most of the figures that that I had for Genesis 8. Now I have them all here. We'll give him a little bit of Fergal. You don't use the HD, okay? Anything HD. None of that works well. A little bit of Fergal, and what Fergal does is give him this really square jaw. It squares off his jaw. You can't really see it here, but... Let's go here, okay. See, Fergal has a nice square jaw. See how he squares that jaw out a little bit? So just a little bit of Fergal, a little bit of Casper. And then we have a different figure, okay. That's that's really um what the HD designation does not mean high definition. It doesn't have anything to do with the texture software tools. The HD designation has to do with the, it means, it doesn't mean high definition. It means high density. And I don't understand a lot about it, but I can tell you really what it does. It has to do with putting, um, putting, little morphs into the the into the shape so that you can get like crow's feet and wrinkles and little like creases on the nose or like um uh like vascular uh why there's no hd they were not able um the sickle yield and river soft were not able to to get the hd morphs and the HD 
figures if like if I were to use one of the H do you, do you, so uh, what you what you do okay is you get because like I did a test all right I took a Genesis 9 figure and I took a Genesis and then I like brought like Fergal one of these one of my figures in I brought the Genesis 8 figure in okay and then I brought in the Genesis 9 figure and I took off the Genesis 9's head like I, I dialed their head down so that there was no head except Genesis 9, okay? And then I put the Fergal head on the Genesis 9 figure by using the morph, okay? Not the HD morph, but I put the head on the Genesis 9 figure. Then I brought over my Fergal and I superimposed them so they were both together in the same space and those heads matched perfectly okay and and believe me if they were not perfect it wouldn't w have worked okay so you so all you're really looking for with your genesis 9 i knew this as soon as genesis 9 figure came out i said i don't care about the bodies i don't care about this hd stuff all i care about is that i can get the shape of the face so that that a Sunday video, exactly, Ed. You know, every time Sunday comes, I say, I ask myself, is it Sunday like all day? Yeah, it's like Sunday gets a whole day, and I I don't know if I could peti petition. I would I I would maybe make Sunday just a half a day, you know, because <laughs> it's like <laughs> after about halfway through Sunday, I say, okay, I've had enough. I'm ready for Monday because you just can't do anything on Sunday. So it's I am here. And not only that, I am here early for you people. So and I'm not too tired right now. I'm not yawning at five o'clock. So I've had something to eat. I'm ready to go here. So so the what you do software tools is with with H with your Genesis 9 figures is you can just go to any Genesis 9 figure that has HD like features like and so you can just go to now in here you'll find that I have HD figures yeah I I'm just kind of being uh, software tools I'm just being kind of it's my way of kind of joking around um, because I, I just, uh, I, I, nothing gets delivered on Sunday. That's the F UPS and FedEx and the mail. I don't get any mail. It's like everything stands still. And I just constantly have a steady stream of, th of, of, uh, useless plastic items being delivered to my house and being so that I can strewn them abjectly through my uh, my living space you know so now notice that what i can do is i can turn up the this the uh i can give him this this is uh those that shaped face i can give him the genesis 9 hd details they're very subtle okay but what it does is it 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 just gives them like little fine wrinkles and and little bumps and curvature that you can barely notice. But also, like if you notice that the head veins and the uh, elder head is it also an HD? Okay, it it gives it gives it details that aren't normally in your regular figure. It gives it finer geometry. It's high density geometry that it adds to the figure. That's as far as my knowledge goes. But if you want to have like HD geometry in a Genesis 8 figure that you've morphed onto a Genesis, then just use your Genesis 9. See, I've got Julius's HD. See, and there's something moving in his face. I can't really tell exactly what's happening. But something is moving because this is a Genesis 9 figure. And when I dial up this Julius stuff, you see it's doing something to his face. And so you can just use, you can't use, 
the HD because the geometry is too uh, anus. You can't use the Genesis 8 geometry on the Genesis because it's just too complicated to try and get it to work with Genesis 9. You can use the morph on the Genesis 9, and I believe that maybe the reason why you can use the Genesis 8 morph on the Genesis 9 is because the Genesis 9 head is uh, very similar. Uh, it starts out as a Genesis figure and this was something that uh, you see I I learn things sometimes myself and I do it from testing from testing stuff um, I I learn stuff from testing and so like I remember very very distinctly one night I brought in a Genesis 3 figure I brought in a Genesis 8 figure and I brought in a Genesis 9 figure, not a Genesis, I brought in a Genesis 8-1 figure, and I took those Genesis figures, and I put them all together, and I laid them, you know, superimposed them with each other, and they all have the same face. They are all the same exact figure. That's, they are all the Genesis figure, okay? And and so Genesis 8 didn't come out with a new face, okay? Genesis 9, I'm not absolutely sure because I haven't done the test myself, but I would care almost, and there, but I would say that the Genesis 9 head is the first time that they've actually come out with a different Genesis head head as the as the big because if you go here to your parameters and you type in male all right the word male you will see that it says genesis 8 head male okay and so what you have to do then is you go to you take this and you go masculine masculine and then you'll notice where it says genesis base masculine base masculine head and this uh this you have to check with your figures okay because this is the genesis 9 masculine head and see that's what that right there is the base masculine head so when you go to morph put your Genesis 8 morphs, you want to make sure this is off. And now, I'm not positive about this either. I'm this. I'm kind of just, because I've really put some thought into it, but I have not put testing into it, and that's a, that's a whole other thing. But this is how I do it, is I come in and I type in masculine for the males, and it would be f probably feminine for uh, the females, okay? And so what, what I do is I turn off the Genesis 9 head, okay? And, but what you get then is you don't get like a Genesis head. What you get is that, that zygote head, that head that's halfway between male and female, okay? You get that head. And then what you do is you type in male, all right? And then you turn this up. And that, and I maybe not all the way up, but um, that. Well, I have other heads dialed in here, but that is your Genesis eight head. Now, I've got other things turned on here. We go to currently used, and we turn these. Uh, we turn the mail off here, and we go to. Currently used, oh my gosh. Uh, so I've got Fergal and Casper, well, let's turn them off for now. Okay, and then we go back to mail. Oh, the uh, up here to mail. Where is it? And let's um, take a look at this and just find out for sure if Okay, let's type in male. All right, there's the Genesis 8 male head, okay? 
and what, let's um, let's test it. Let's bring in a Genesis eight male. All right, the 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 default Genesis eight male, and we'll figure out how to get the default Genesis eight male head on a Genesis because the Genesis eight one that has exactly the same head as Genesis 8, and I'm almost 100% sure that Genesis 3 has the same shape and, and the same face as the Genesis 8 and 8.1. They all have their Genesis, okay, their Genesis heads. And so that was that one was a really big surprise to me because I had just assumed that Genesis because I've always just looked at it and said that's a different person, you know? Uh no, it's not. And neither is Genesis 8:1 when you're talking Genesis, all right? Not all the figures that are derived from them, but let's type in Genesis uh I think the only way to find this was to try to to narrow it down. We'll go into figures. We'll go. I wish there was like a Genesis 8, Genesis 8, 1, where you could go into figures and pick, pick the, but the closest we can do is come to mail. And then we'll go down through here and we should be able to find just our basic Genesis figure here. It's right here. Genesis 8 starter default and where is our Genesis 8 male? Oh, come on. Oh, let's go into here. Default. Figures. All right. Genesis 8 male. We'll load the, the full Genesis, not the dev load. All right. This is the Genesis 8 basic male. All right. And we're going to find out if... By turning off that, going to the zygote, I call it a zygote. That's like the, to me, that's like that middle face figure that's part male, part masculine, part feminine that goes with Genesis 9. You turn off the masculinity and then you turn on the Genesis 8 male head. That's what I kind of, that's what I assume. Yes, Casper is very handsome. Okay, what's happened here? I think I dragged him. Okay, now we, okay, I just had to make him come out of here somehow because I must have dragged him somehow. I don't know why he decided to like lurch over to the left. Casper is very handsome, Anus. Yes, he is. I've used him in many, many um, it's, I think mostly, especially his lips are just, they has these very beautiful kind of, uh, full lips. So I, there, um, I wish we could kind of lock parts of the face. Now they're not going to be the same height. Okay. But when we bring him up like this, we're going to find out, do they overlap? And that's what we're going to find out here, is this, does the face superimpose? So what we'd have to do is go to proportional. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move the Genesis 9 figure. Uh, oh, all we have to do with Genesis 8 is go to height. Okay, to parameters, height. All right, and then we can... Go to here, and where there's height right there. And are they going to align? See, to me, that looks pretty darn close. You see what I'm saying? So and if I just bump it up a little bit like this way, maybe. Yes, yeah, see, and, and they might be off by a little bit on the left and right, but see that, 
this this isn't a coincidence. I mean, this isn't an accident. You know what I'm saying? This Genesis, when you take and you t dialed off the Genesis masculine part and you get to that Z Genesis 9 zygote, I'm going to call it zygote. There's a name for it. Once I learn that name, I, I hate that word zygote, but um, once you get to that that part masculine, part feminine head, that is the Genesis 9 figure. And by taking off the male head, that masculine part, and then dialing, you do a search here. So one, the one that's masculine is for the Genesis 9. You turn off that masculine thing, and then you go male, which takes you to... You're, when you when you select Genesis 9, it says the Genesis 8 male head. And now I don't know where I got this male head. I think it just is part of, it got added to, but I may have actually converted my Genesis 8 male to uh, Genesis 9, and it may have appeared then, but I... I use this. So now if I take this off like that, and now this is that, this is that zygote face, it's suddenly they're just not even close. Now I'd have to move it back a little bit, but um, you can, you'll see that there's just no, that they're not, um, we'll, we'll go here, here, uh, go to parameters. And go up to the top here, Genesis 8 male, get rid of this male thing. And then we go uh, Z, move her back, or ahead. See, there, there's no, there, the whole shape and everything is completely different. You see the chin and all? That's why I'm saying it, and then so we go back to male, and we type in male here, and we put that male, that, oh, uh, this would be on Genesis 9. We put that male head shape back on, and then, and, and all the way up to 100, and then move him back ahead, move him back ahead a little bit. John, uh, we take male off and translate him ahead so that we can kind of see how. And see, those are the same figure. Let's do it very gradually. Okay. Well, it's not very gradual. I gotta. I think I can do it better myself here. See, even the ear, yeah, even the ear is lining up. See, this is the same figure. It is. And so, and, and you know, kudos to the Daz, to the Daz developers who, who, in their great wisdom, may, gave us this ability, this head morph, that where we could turn off the masculine and then bring it to that zygote head and then add this Genesis 8 head to that. And so this, so this is your starting board for then going in and taking your heads here go to go to your genesis 8 or 81 heads okay this so we now can turn off the genesis 8 male because we have a genesis 8 head now okay that's what we have here on genesis 9 so that should make that will make the the morphs the head morphs respond properly when we go and like dial up a little bit of Tyrone. Okay, we gotta actually go to John. 
here, and then we'll go back to the heads again. Where are you, Tyrone? Or find another head here. Okay, uh, we go, and the same thing would go for the female, is what you would do is go down to that zygote head, then you look for the Genesis 8 female head, put that on her head, then you dial on your morphs, your Genesis 8 female head morphs, okay? And to me, as if the, as long as it, if the head is there, I can use all the Genesis 9 HD stuff. I can use all the Genesis 9 body morphs and, and augmentation morphs or whatever. So, you know, I can just use the and, and shape the body the way I want. I don't care about the body because half the time the body's enclosed, or I can just give it a little bit of definition, a little bit of tone, and, or, you know, there's tons of Genesis 9 body morphs. So it's the face, it's that face you're trying to capture because you know that, like, that it's going to be that Casper face, or you know it's going to be Roy, or you know it's going to be Jet, or it's going to be uh, Dragomir, or, you know, you just know the face is going to give you what it's, that face is going to give you. And that's what's important is because those are your palette. You've learned to paint with them. You've learned to paint with those faces. A little bit of Dragomir, a little bit of this, it gives you that sharp jaw, and you've created completely new people from com com from combining different colors, like taking a little bit of magenta uh, and, and with a little bit of sky blue, you know, uh, like cobalt blue, you're, like you're a painter and you mix them together and you know you're going to get that perfect little purple for your sky kind of thing. And that's the same thing with these heads, is you, you've learned to paint with them. And so this is why it's so uh, important to to learn how to get your Genesis head here so that you can paint and create uh, because you have so many, all these head shapes here. Let me find the, the, the section where all the male heads are. A and you also have all of these Genesis 8 face morphs that now all work, except if they say HD next to them, they don't work. They can do some really weird stuff. I don't know exactly why, but I just know that they couldn't figure out how to do it. So, uh, where, are, okay, head, this is John, Gen, John 9. There's somewhere in here all my Genesis 8 male heads. Uh, okay, uh, here, this is, this is, uh, all right, here, yeah, there we go, Fox. These Kurt, these are Genesis 9 heads here. Arno, those are all the Genesis 9 heads. And I don't believe that once you switch this to the Genesis 8 male head, I'm not sure that you're going to get be, that the Genesis 9 morphs would respond right to, the, to this, okay? So, uh... No, okay, now we're going down. Now we should be getting to the Genesis 8 heads. And, yeah, okay, Michael 9. Okay, we're still in the Genesis 9 heads. Rupert. Rupert, or... Okay, here we go. Genesis, Alex Capital. Here's Alex Capital. All right, and it, it you know, that, that works. Well, but, you know, how much you can bring in is is debatable, um, but it works. See, look at that. That is Alex Capital. That's 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 enough of him. That broken nose, that look, kind of, and uh, that's Alex Capital. And then you go to uh, Alistair. That's Alistair right there. It. Definitely. And if I brought Alistair in, and I, now I, I don't know that you want to bring it all the way up, okay? But if I brought Alistair in, somewhere in around here, it would line up with Alistair's head. Okay? It will line right up. If you stand them right beside each other and render them, you will not be able to tell the difference. They're going to look like they're exactly the same figure. Except for the body, okay, and and 
I believe the body, the, you, you, you do have body morphs that's just the HD morphs that don't, and the body morphs don't always work because every once in a while there's this HD belt, bell, sometimes they combine some of the HD body morphs into the body, but sometimes you can actually get the body out of it also. But again, there again, you'd have to dial down the Genesis 9 body to the zygote figure, and then you might want to add the Genesis 8 male body or Genesis 8, yeah, the Genesis 8 male body to your figure, then you at, draw, try to bring in their, their body. So this is Fergal. And uh, you have to fix their eyes, okay? So, uh, uh, and they, they work. They, uh, these uh, guys work. And uh, you got Ro Roderick. And uh, everything down to from Roderick's uh, kind of, Roderick has a kind of crook, lazy eye. Yeah, it even brought that in. And So, uh, all right, so what we're going to do, is we're going to go back here and I'm going to bring back Casper, a little bit of Casper, uh, with a K. Uh, these are the um, Genesis 9 eyebrows. They're, um, they're strips or something. They have a special name for them. But they, they do stick off from the eyes. They're, I don't know that they're actually fiber mesh, though they, they have an, another name for them. They're kind of strips or something. Uh, I'll tell you the name in a little in a moment. Um, let's get Casper. And who was the other guy I put in here with him? I can't remember now. Uh, it was Casper. And... Who was the other guy? Here we got, um... Uh... Okay, those are still Genesis 9. Oh, let's give some Buster. All right. All right, Buster is as another one of the, I think Buster is like his head they made him look like really kind of like a you know a redneck and everything but I believe that his face was maybe styled after Heath Ledger's face so uh now the thing is we have to mess with the eyes to make it right but I I don't know that you, you see you always have to fix the eyes after you morph the head like this and so what you have to do is you have to resize them. It's a, a, a double process, but you go to parameters and you size them up to 120, like that. You make them really big, like that, up to 120, and you fit them in the socket, the, or, may, or maybe even a little more. I got to get a little closer. Oops, that was his tongue. All right, you bring the eyes over until they fit in the socket. This one you do 120. Sometimes you have to go even up a higher. 120. Whoop. You make the eyes really big, and the, then the, the, the pupils and the iris get really large. You push them back. Make sure they're not encroaching on the tear, the tear thing. And now you can see this is way off. And <laughs> I can't get it now. This looks about right. And we got to pull it up, pull it out more. Pull it over a tiny bit. Okay, until they 
And the thing is, I'll tell you another thing. You can't dial the head all the way up because you'll notice that this whole area in here will kind of like pop out like it's it's like exploding. So always when you when you dial the Genesis 8 head morphs up, always look at this little area here and make sure that you haven't dialed it too high to make it to corrupt that area. See, because something's happening there, and it, it, I'm not sure. Something's happening in that area, and it, and it has to do with the morphs. But you can get enough of their fe features in to, and the thing is, is you don't have to have the eyes so big that they don't have to cover this whole thing and if you if you should happen to see now let's see what this looks like if it's okay it's okay you know but you then you have to bring okay so yeah see this looks now there's something going on with the I've got to put like a, a light in here create a point light Let's bring the point light up. Up here. And out a little bit. Let's see what's happening here. And then we'll because I may I may have to dial the head down a little bit. Cath I might have given too much of Casper. Um, but let's go here now to our point light and give it some lumens. Yeah, see this looks okay. So this worked, okay? So see, it's this little spot in here that can kind of jump out and just kind of like completely mess up. but. That's okay. That that looks okay. We're gonna be we're not gonna be up close here. Now the problem right now is his eyes are too big. So this is where you have to go. And the this can happen. This doesn't only happen with when you take and take that go the take off the masculine or feminine, go down to the zygote, and then you put the Genesis 8. Uh, head on or Genesis 8 male or Genesis 8 female head on you put you dial the head on and then you do your morphs If you just take your figure and morph their head from Like you put in say the Jesus the John 9 character and then you turn their head off and then you go and morph the um, like n n uh, Like Nahul Nahul and put his head on the eyes are going to be thrown off as just as well. You have to, every time you morph the head, you have to fix the eyes, all right? And it's going to one way or another throw the eyes off, and you have to go and grab them and manually move them around like I just did, resize them until they kind of fit. They don't have to fit perfectly because you're going to be, if you're about this far away, you're not going to see the, the little holes in the corner. But just if you are going to be like this and you can see a big hole in the corner, then just pull the eyes a little bit that way. And it doesn't matter if there's a little hole on this side. You know, you don't have to have them so large that um, just to cut, make sure they cover both sides, just make sure they're large enough so that they're um, kind of covering them. Uh, because... There is a morph. Now we're going to morph down the iris and the, uh, the pupils. And so the way we do that is we go to our John figure and we go here to our morphs. Oh, we select the eyes. Okay, here, uh, select the, his Genesis 9 eyes, this part of them. And then you go here and you type in iris. And you see we have this eyeball iris size and what we're going to do is just drag it down and see how that just made them small okay and that's it but the thing is is that they're still 
a tiny bit too large, but they're okay, all right? And the thing is, is that when they're too large like that, they don't look, that can, it can make your figure look not as real as possible. Now, I can put any Genesis 9 eyes on this still, okay? But um, they look, they're okay. They're, that's why I say you don't want to make, you know, I, I resize the eyes up to 120. You can go 125 and make them fit perfectly in the sockets. But if you do go up to 125, then the irises are going to be larger. And they're, they're, I thought oh, there is a way to go here to parameters, parameter settings, turn off use limits, all right? And then you can bring them down a little bit more here. You can bring them down a little bit more. See that? And it's not that much. You can't bring them down that much, but you can bring them down just enough to make them look right. That's the best you're going to be able to do unless you kind of cheat again and bring them down to like one one fifteen and and then if you're going to have your camera come from this side this angle of your then just pull if there's if there's going to be a space in your eye just put the eye over to the side that covers that vantage point with the eye all right so and that's my suggestion for these okay it's See, now there's a tiny bit you can see there. So we could just go here like this, go into this, and just pull this over a little bit like that. Push it in maybe a tiny bit. And see that, and the same here, it just covers that vantage point. And then if a camera is going to be here, now, when you turn this way, you're going to see that there's a little bit of a hole there, okay? But at least if it's hidden, then you can get the right eye size, and you can get the and you can cover that little hole with your eyes, okay? So uh, that's that's how I fix the eyes. Okay, right in Daz, you don't, and and that 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 looks pretty good right there. Okay, that that and uh, you can if you you look straight on, make sure that the eyes are are um, aren't that one of them's not looking over the uh, you know that and if you have to, you just select each eye like this and go into your figure, not into that part, but then you go here to John, get rid of the iris word, and you can, uh, uh, we go to look, and look will give you your side to side left and side to side right, and you can, I'm not going to mess with this, I think they look, this eye looks maybe like it's off a little bit, so we can go look uh, here. Okay, it picked, clicked the left eye. What, what's wrong here? All right, that didn't work. Oh, okay, left eye, side to side. Okay, you, you don't have to do the look. You can, there's one, you just select the left eye and you can go side to side. And which one brings it? This one brings it this way. Just bring it over a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Over. Yeah, and down. Side to side. Up and down. Just to get them right. Yeah, I guess, uh, nah, I'm still thinking that's got to go this way.
Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to get these eyes right. But um, there, it, it's pretty close to what you want, but and up and down. Let's bring it down some more. Yeah, maybe one of his eyes are... Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Uh, I'll take this one and bring it over too. So, like this. Yeah, you have to mess with them. <laughs> I, I do. I order picks. Pics, I have so many, many that had plastic items coming to your house all the time. Oh, my gosh. I I own, just talk, let's talk about plastic items. I own 2,000 vinyl records. That's, that's just to start, for starters, I own 2,000 vinyl records. Yep, that and yeah, that's just starters, and that, and I have boxes and boxes of cassettes. <laughs> yeah, yes, and I have many, many guitar picks, and uh, yeah, it, I was making a um, a play on the words. I don't know if you've ever heard of. Uh, um, Nancy Griffith's songs called The Five and Dime. And uh, it's and she said that she in, in, the, in the middle of the song, she tells a story about going into an old Woolworth store. And she says every uh, every town used to have a Woolworth store and you go into the Woolworth store and fill your <laughs> fill your cart full of uh, all kinds of plastic items. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so uh, at the Woolworth store, and the and the uh, the store smelled like uh, she said, like chewing gum on the bottom of your of your rubber soled shoes and popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I th that was like an that was like a a joke to myself, you know, about the. <laughs> unnecessary plastic items <laughs> that I have coming in the mail all the time from the UPS and <laughs> they know me by name they <laughs> yeah they uh they know me they they say hi and I say I'm keeping you in I'm keeping you in work yes if it wasn't for me you'd be laid off <laughs> no probably not so yeah there's the eyes Yes, she did a noose. <laughs> she left us. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to know that you know of Nancy. She was a sweetheart. Very, very, very... Somebody I absolutely adore as an artist. The radio. Listen to the radio. Yeah, so we have uh, we have one of our figures now. Uh, since his eyes are all parented to him, he he should move around. We'll we'll leave this light in the scene because we're going to use it and turn it uh, so that it's going to be part of our lantern that's going to light him up a little bit. We'll give it uh, warm it up a little bit, and it's going to look like it's light coming off of our lantern. Speaking of parented things this this lantern should be parented to our boat robot so if we pull this lantern up here and somewhere in here let's hope it doesn't jump all around on us yeah so now that lantern is parented to the rowboat and so if i should happen to Move the rowboat, the lantern will go with her. Yes, so dance a little closer to me. Dance a little closer now. Dance a little closer tonight. 
Cause love's on sale tonight in this five and dime. That's a beautiful song. That is a beautiful song. Yep. Eddie was a sweet romancer and a darn good dancer. And they'd stroll the aisles of the five and dime. Rita was 16 years, hazel eyes and chestnut hair. She made the Woolworth counter shine. Yeah, that is probably up, yeah. She does sound the best on vinyl. Yeah, I, uh, I have some vinyl. Lots of rock and stuff and lots of... Ella Fitzgerald, and Frank Sinatra, and Janet Jackson, and I have long play albums, and vinyl with just one song on one side, and remixes of everything, and all kinds of music. It's just, my, that's my life, is music. So, save this. And now, we're going to... Uh, put some kind of clothes on him. Let's find some clothes. And I, I don't know if I should pose him, then put the clothes on, but I don't think it's going to matter a lot. We're going to have to, we might have to do something with, with, uh, I wish I could get kind of like that paint, some kind of like painter's thing where, where he would have like a little striped shirt and like one of those painter's hat, you know, those and, you know, something to make him look European. So, uh, Mediterranean, European kind of thing. Or maybe this would work. The soldat, soldat wardrobe. This is for Genesis 9. It's been converted. Does it work? Will it work? Um, I've learned not to use, to use these converted clothes. Uh, well, we'll we'll try it, okay? But I t I tend to 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 find that. Uh, all right, so we'll try this. We got to select our Genesis nine figure. Let's put this on, and we'll put the pants on him. And the ch shoes, I don't think he needs shoes, but we'll put them on him anyway. See, there's something weird going on here. My eye just sees this stuff, like, immediately. Yeah, see, so we'll go with the... Now, if I put on... I think this works, uh, but the, the pants... We're going to go here. Uh, let's go back out so we don't uh, flash the YouTube audience too much here. And let's go out of iRay. We got to... Okay, that made it worse. <laughs> um, let's just go like this <laughs> for now. And let's find Soldat. S-O-L-D-A-T. And we'll find the, the actual pants for Genesis. We'll let AutoFit do the thing. All right, select Genesis 9. Art, you are here. Yeah, this you you can go back and watch uh watch the beginning if you so desire. Um we have um I explain a lot of things. I've got I've got now a Sony camera coming down. No more microphone. What did I do with the microphone? The microphone is up here now. So we no longer I've learned to kind of set it so it's not noisy. Yes, I was singing for a while. We have a bunch of people in here and Angus Yes, and Habib, and Ed, and Software, and you, Art. Yes, and Noos. Yes, and Software Tools. I think I said that. Habib. 
Yes, we have some awesome people here. So this says unsupported. We're going to go Genesis 8 male. We're just going to let him put the pants on, and you're going to watch and see that these pants go on. That if they just work better than the sickle yield converter most of the time, not all the time. Sometimes the sickle yield converter is your only hope to make something fit. Fit. So I'm I'm not totally against the the clothing converter. Uh, but um, I, I, I would use it on a per basis. Yes, I was singing a little bit. Oh, you want to hear some Gordon Lightfoot? <laughs> Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down to the big lake they call Gitchagumi. I don't know all the rest of the words um, to that. You can see her like back in a satin dress in a room where you do what you don't confess sundown you better take care if i find you've been creeping round my back stairs yep that's uh sometimes i think it's a sin when I get feeling better, when I'm losing no pain, I feel in no pain. I can't spin so long. She never gives up when the gales of November come early. Yep. Oh, I'll be pull out my guitar, play you guys a tune. All right. So the pants, you see, we don't have that problem with the pants. The pants fit now. All right. The shirt's okay. It seems. But we got to look around the back just to make sure. And let's see what happens when we give him the Soldat hat. See, does that, the hat work? Genesis 8 male. Let's see, can we get the hat to work? They got water in the boat, but if I put the camera at the right angle, we won't see the water come in. Yes, Gordon Lightfoot. Yeah, I went was going through my albums of the Eagles. Yeah, we got the Eagles. We got Crosby, Stills, and Nash. We got Bob Seger, Hart, and Bonnie Raitt. Uh, I've got Hall and Oates, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Elvis, and the Beatles, of course. And, uh, yeah, I was just going through today. Starship. We built this city on rock and roll. Yep. This works. We're going to give him a beard. So let's see. Who would have known that was Jesus? Yeah, there's a little bit of Jesus in all of us. So, yeah, we took Genesis 9 Jesus and turned him into Casper. Liberace! <laughs> oh, yes! We have the, the percussion, the, 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 what is it, uh, persuasive percussion. We have uh, show tunes, and we have two, I have two albums of, of hair. Uh, long as I keep growing my hair. And we have uh, West Side Story, and Carousel, and... We have Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews, Julie Andrews singing My Fair Lady. I don't know what happened to Audrey Hepburn on that album, but Julie Andrews is on the album. Flower Power, exactly a noose. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so we uh, are looking for a beard hair. Uh, hair soldat and let's go and do some 
some beard hair. Let's use now, see, this is why we use Genesis 9, because we can use this new, like, Genesis 8 hair, this Genesis, okay, where, where's just the, the beard, okay, just the beard. We can give him this awesome, it's uh, called, um, Oh, I forget the name of the new Genesis night hair. Like, hey. How about, uh, oh, he died in, tw oh, that's right. Um, uh, B.J. Thomas, raindrops keep falling on my head. But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Crying's not for me. No. I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining. Oh, how about Jim Croce? If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old-time movie about a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark. And a portrait's drawn with chains upon my back. The hero plays a fool. Yep, so we're going to now... Uh, thank you, Anus. Thank you. All right. I don't know why we want his hair dark, but maybe, maybe. Let's see what he looks like in Iray. In I Ray, that's fine. Look how nice that looks. You see, you will always be pleased with your Genesis. Generally, you're gonna be pleased with the way your Genesis 9 figures respond to the light, the way they look. And you put this up against a Genesis 8 figure and the Genesis 8 figure is going to look terrible. And then you're just, and then you're going to say, oh, how do I, I have to change all their clothes. I have to change their hair. I have to change their eyes, their eyebrows and all of this stuff. I have to change all their stuff to, to fix this. And you to, to, so that, you know, and so just don't use Genesis 8, 8, 1, Genesis 8. Three, don't use those figures in your scenes. If you want to have the face of a, of a Genesis 8 figure, yeah, don't you think that looks, that looks kind of, that I think that works in Venice. Yeah, I think it does kind of. So, um, but we got to give this, his face hair has got to be black, not brown, to match his eyebrows. So let's see if we can find some. Let's put this really nice. Well, I think it comes out. Stop. The Omni, uh, Omni Black mixed. Omni Black simple. Here's Omni Black. IOR. We don't want IOR. Oh, that's the uh, of refraction. Index of refraction. We don't need to mess with that. Um, we're looking for black. Black, black, black. Strands thicker. Okay, this would be the beard stuff. That's hair stuff. Hair, that's his hair. Okay, here, beard, Omni Black. Okay, we got the beard selected. Let's see if this works. See, that works right there. All right, now I don't have the lighting right in this scene, but but um, this this works. Okay, I would say the beard is a little bit too much. And there's a way to do to do the transparency where it's down here, I think. Uh, noise, okay. Strands thick, uh, okay. I think that would be up here. Uh, it's in uh, die weight. Okay, that's the hair, okay, beard. Gray. Thinner lines, thinner. All right, let's go with the thinner line. Let's try this. 
Yeah. Now we just want the, the kind of look. We don't want it to look like he's, uh, oh, that guy in Popeye. Um, nothing that's wrong with him, but there's nothing wrong with him, but maybe a little more. Yeah. So now we got to give him, get him to put this ore in his hand. We got to move the ore. Can we move it? Yeah. We move the ore and rotate it. Put the ore over here. And we're going to bring it down. Yeah, I, you know this other tool that has like it's got all it's a multi tool where you can move it and rotate. I I can't use that tool. It's just it's just too cumbersome to try to use. And so I do, I I just I use I I either go to rotate or I go to to move, but I, I don't, I rarely use that multi-tool. It's just too, like I said, cumbersome to deal with. Now, we gotta get some kind of pose with him reaching over. I, I, I'm hoping I can find something that gets him like in the ballpark of the pose. Let's go back to our camera view. See, so it's gonna be like this, we'll, we'll parent the pole to him. Oh, well, that's very nice of you to say, Art, about being me being humble with my art um, and, and my voice. It's very nice of you. I, you know, I'm, I'm a human being, and some days I have bad days. Sometimes I, sometimes I just, uh, I, I got, I'm not perfect. I get outside of myself. I can get crabby and I can get, um, I, I rarely get depressed. I don't, I don't get depressed. I don't get, um, but some days I just get, uh, um, some days ang I think if anything, I, I just not really angry, but I just, I, um, I, 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 I can, uh, um, I can let things, I can get carried away in things. And um, I, you know, and that's, that's probably my worst um, thing is, uh, is, and you know, it's not like horrible. I just, sometimes I can be too, I can be too honest. You know, I can be too frank. I can, and, and then I always feel like terrible, you know, I just, and I just, that's not me. And I was like, wow, you know, I can't believe I, I was, I, I said that, you know, kind of thing, you know, everybody gets that you get in traffic and, and somebody cuts you off and they give you the finger and you give it back and you say, why did I do that? Why did I fall into their little trap? You know, why did I do that? Why? You know, why? That's not me, you know, and it's just everybody, everybody gets that way. And I, I tend to think it's, it comes from many years of years ago of being an alcoholic. I've, I've been um, on the bandwagon for six years and I, I don't drink or smoke. I don't even drink coffee. You know, I, I try, I try to be I do all of this so that I can be a nicer person to the world. And then, you know, I didn't quit drinking because something bad happened. I just, I quit drinking because it was just starting to eat away at my health. And it took me a long time to figure that out. So, because I didn't, I've never been the kind of person to drink every day. Never, ever. But, you know, after, you know, 50 years of, you know, a, a little binge here and a little binge there and a little binge here, uh, it starts to uh, get get at you. You start, your feet start to dry out and your body starts to, to just slowly, you know, decay and fall into ashes. And, uh, and I just thought, no, this isn't the way I want to go out. You know, you lay in bed and you're dehydrated. And the next morning, you wake up and you're dry as a 
as a bone and you just, you know, I just got tired of that. Art, I wish I was smart enough to have been, to have drank, to have quit 30 years ago. I, the thing is, is I was so clever about it. I, 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 I would let my body completely recover from it. And then I'd go and, and binge again. I was so crafty about, you know, not allowing it to really, really hurt me, you know. And that was probably, you know, it, it, it was just not a good thing. So, but yeah, and, and there's the residuals left over, you know, from that period in my life when I was just kind of like um, not as focused. And so I, I fall into some of the same patterns and I would say that the worst one is is anger, you know, and it's not I wouldn't say it's anger. You know what I'm saying? It's just being short with people and being and and and, and then stopping and saying this person is my friend. I'm not supposed to be treating them like that. That is not the way to treat somebody, you know, so I uh, it's I've had to I've had to really kind of learn to uh to be uh to not allow that that you know that drunk person to uh to to come out even though i'm sober you know i i still can't allow that to uh to be to be uh dominant like you said in uh making decisions it has to be uh i have to i have to be the one making the decisions so, uh, and at least I'm aware of it, you know, that's what's good about it is that I'm aware of it that, um, so, and I'm, I'm generally even, you know, in my, in my times of when I was drinking, I, I was a, a nice and nice person, fun to to be at parties with, and I, you know, I knew how to throw, have a good time, you know, but, uh, and I was the life of the party, but I just, uh, um, I just got out of it, and, and I, I, I've never been happier in my life than since I got, got out of that. I've never been, uh, life is so much better when went sober uh so it's it's like the only drug i really hadn't tried was sobriety and it turned out to be the best drug of them all you know and i i consider you know sobriety to be a high it's like another you know i strive to be more sober you know and it's uh you know it's something yeah it's 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 a uh, it's another, you know, serenity is something, it's a, it's a, it's a high, it's a kind of emotional high that you go on. And I had really kind of, I had done everything, you know, like the whole AA stuff and all, I had done all of the 12 steps except one. And I, I, I had every single step done except for one step just one step I had left to do, and that was quit drinking. <laughs> so the moment I quit drinking, it's like, boom, serenity. <laughs> it's like, I like this. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. <laughs> That's, those are my own words. That's, this is my own thing, you know? It's just, this is what happened to me. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, like the higher power stuff, yeah, I was ordained clergy, you know. I, I, you know, all of that stuff, I'd already been through all of that. I'd been out to Ohio to the wheat, to the cornfields and, you know, with, with these, you know, these kind of holy roller revivals and all of this stuff. I had been through all of that. I'd been a missionary and sent out and... To uh, you know, I'd been through all that higher power stuff. The only thing I didn't have 
was I just had, did, hadn't quit drinking. I had all that serenity stuff. But just one thing, and, and that was to get rid of the, the alcohol itself. Well, I haven't seen the rowing. Let's see. Uh, no, if I type in rowing, it's going to be somebody sitting. Oh, there it is. There's our pose for 8-1. So, okay, we're going to go into here. I'm going to use this special thing here. It's a script. It's a product. It's called Genesis 8-9 to Pose Converter. It converts on the fly. And I've kind of been liking this more than having a bunch of poses in a folder. Because I could just go down through my existing folk poses and just open this up. No, we don't want to add it to the or. Okay, close this. Cancel this. Well, I think I had it. I don't know that it put it on him. But, uh, yeah, we have John 9. That was the pose. All right, so we go scripts. And it works like a charm. Just close, and it's all done. Now, uh, this light, I'm going to hide it for a while. Uh, now I can't, can't see. What we'll do is hide it in the parameters. So, uh... Yeah. We'll make this work. Okay, so what, this is the wrong side. I'm going to have him rowing this side. So what we want to do is go to this three di digitimes. And in here, in these tools, mirror. Swap all bones. Is this going to work? Oh, I selected the, po the point light. Well, we swapped the bones in the point light. Why not? All right, let's see. Swap all bones. This would be mirror. This is part of three digit times there. Uh, pose. I forget what it's called. Pose. Okay, swap all bones. Just one little click. And it works with Genesis 8, 9, 8, 1, and Genesis 3, I believe, also. All right, are you going to swap? Let's try again. Mirror. There it is. So what we do is we now take John and move him over this way. We're going to turn him a little, I think, too. So we can see. Now we got a problem with the pants. We might have. Uh, I don't think we're going to see that problem though. Okay, pull the oar down. Out. This way. Oh, well, that looks, that's starting to look nice. Okay. Hey, Mr. J! 
How are you, friend? Welcome, welcome. You are welcome here. Thank you for coming here. Well, I got nine likes today. Thank you very kindly for the likes. Uh, it's a very, very helpful one of these days. Maybe this channel will actually get monetized and we'll have, uh, I'll be able to actually <laughs> make a little bit of, make a little bit uh, of uh, income from from the channel because I've certain I you know just buying all kinds of models and and it uh, it all goes out and very and not doesn't seem to want to come back in. Let's see. Have you seen Daz AI Studio? I have not actually tried that. I I'm, I'm not a big beta person. I. I don't like things that aren't finished. I don't like them on my computer because one thing that happens is when when it's finally done, then they turn it off and it doesn't work anymore and then you have this all this crap and junk stuff left on your computer and uh and then you have to figure out how to uninstall it and then when you go and finally buy the the actual product you have um, you have to uh, then you just wonder if it's going to install on your computer and have conflicts in your registry and and you see my computer I have you know just dads alone I have ten thousand products installed you know just that alone and then I have another ten thousand. Uh, and that's why I don't like having like the Windows updates and being in their uh, their their uh, you know their tier program where you can get the updates soon. And every time I turn on my computer, they want me to update again and again and again and again. And they're constantly. And right now, Adobe is like that. It's just like every time I go to use Photoshop, it's like there's a new update. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and um, I'm just not, you know, I, I, I'm in the middle of something, Adobe. <laughs> so there, uh, I need to go into iRay here. So I am very interested, but I'm also a little worried because, you know, I have purchased 10,000 Daz. Now that looks like it's perfectly there in his hand. Uh, that looks nice right there. So what I'm going to do is parent this oar to him and not the boat. That makes sense now. To take the oar out and see if hopefully it parents in place. And we're going to parent it to John, I guess. And I think that'll move around with him. If I move him now, if I move John, the oar should move with him. Let's see, because I want him a little bit over this way more. So we can see the person standing, sitting in the back of the boat. And they're going to have a little light coming down on them. And he's going to have a little light coming in. It's, it's, it's as if the light is coming from this lantern. But it's going to be kind of like maybe some from other things. Okay, so there's our, uh, there's that. So we'll see a little person sitting in the back. Some guy is going to sit in the back and he's going to be, I might, I don't know. I think the pants will be fine, but we got something weird going on with his pants. It's always seems to be the case with Daz. So we may take his pants into hexagon and make a morph and fix his pants. So it's not that big of a of a job. All right, so let's take and let's make this darker in the scene because I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. There's so many things I want to do in the scene and I, it's just like it's a progressive thing and every time I keep thinking it's like, so I want to bring this over. Now you see how that just got really kind of dark? All right, so these lights here will actually now have some impact. But see, now the sky turns like into something yucky. 
So uh, it's just, I don't think that's the right HDRI for this, even though it's a nice HDRI, I, don't, I just don't think it's the right one. So, and now this point light, I'm gonna go, I keep saying I'm gonna do all this stuff, I'm gonna display, I'm just gonna hide it from now in the viewport so it's not right there. Uh, and we're gonna turn up the point light so that we get some, we might as well give it its temperature and turn up the lumens, we'll go to, uh, two and we're going to bring the temperature down a little more yeah all right maybe the lumens are a little high oh we need maybe okay well we'll go with uh for now okay this will work um and he needs some cut he needs uh some head hair, so we'll go with sh this shaved. I think that'll work. Um, now, uh, where is he? John. And we're gonna go to smart content shaved. We'll just give him the shaved hair, it's something easy. Uh, I think this is, okay, this is a shaved hair for the Genesis. that work that did definitely not work uh, let's uh, shaved hair that worked okay save and now we're gonna go and put another figure in the scene uh, let's do something with this HDRI that's kind of a little more interesting now, right now to my head. Uh, parameters. Get rid of the shaved word. Uh, oh, smart content. We'll go this way. Products. And we'll go to... Okay, what happens is you that you're their testers. By the way, congrats, man. Hope you get monetized soon. Well, I, I have another, um, like, thousand, uh, almost 2,000 hours that people have to watch my videos. So, yeah, that's almost 2,000 hours <laughs> that I have to entice people to come in and and listen to my videos so and you know there's just only so many um jay did it you know and there's a few other people who have gotten monetized that aren't working for free anymore so it's it's partially my problem because i have another channel that i do have monetized and that one is pretty much i make a good portion of my income from so I can't complain. I, YouTube is very nice to me. I, I just, even when I put out a video and it does terrible, I can't complain. And usually YouTube, sometimes a video will do terrible and then like a day later it starts to get better and better and then all of a sudden it takes off and it's like, well, yeah, YouTube, maybe your algorithm was wrong. <laughs> so, or maybe they just didn't want it to take off like crazy. They have their reasons at first where they wanted to just test the waters <laughs> with my videos, which is okay with me too. I kind of just go with the flow. I used to get all kind of involved in it and now I just go, like I said, go with the flow. That's the way to do it. Um, yeah, I, I, I like sharing. I like, be, I like being here with with you all. I like, I like being here. I don't, um, I don't like working alone. I've spent my entire life working alone. And now that with the internet and, and all of this stuff, it gives me the ability to come in and, uh, and, and work with you and be with you. So we're going to go to render settings. Now we're going to pick a better 
looking, better looking HDRI. We're going to find the right one until we find the right one. <laughs> How about this moon? I think that I want it to be nighttime with moon backlit. And that that's not sending me too far. Let's see. Um, large moon. I think these are just HDRIs. Okay. Uh, what happens when we move this around? Um, my other channel, I'm, I'm not sure uh, whether if it would be of interest to you. I, um, I have um, a gay romance channel where it's called Rex Red Flock of Angels. And uh, so uh, and uh, it's it's based upon a, a kind of like an assumption that I have about the world is that that. Right now, we have too, too, too much masculine, um, like, hostility. And, and that I believe that, you know, too many men killing men right now in our world. And it's been going on for generation after generation. Men are just killing men. And, well, thank you, Eve. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Eve. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. Uh, yeah, and so, and thanks for the compliment on my music. And so I make the music and I put it to, like, movies that, a lot of movies uh, with gay themes and everything are just, they have horrible, like, tragic, you know, sometimes, like, so terribly tragic endings, like Clockwork Orange kind of tragic. And they put these, you know, they and they... And so what I do is I take that same movie and I just cut out all the really nice parts and I make it seem like it's a happy ending. Yeah. And so there are so that's what and and I found out that there is this massive um there's a massive uh need for that. And so when I, my stuff on YouTube uh, uh, yeah, my stuff on YouTube, uh, is, is, uh, there's just, it's f f fulfilling a really, uh, a re here's my, uh, here is my music channel. And um, I got about 300 songs there, and I've I've written and recorded many more than that. But um, there, I play most of the instruments, and I sing, and I write all the write the write the songs, arrange, record, do all that stuff. And now this this HDRI is not working either. It's, it, I, well, what I could do is like lower the. I could lower this. Where is it here? Down to one. Uh, down to one. See what that does. Down and lower this down to 0. 0.5. Now, see that's just not working right now for me. Uh, the moon would be nice, but yeah. And so it's it's about uh, it's about the. Um, that it's just the way culture is they they take men men and they make them into kind of uh aggressive they make them oh thank you that that's very nice i couldn't sleep i need to write another love song to tell the world how much you mean to me yeah, that's um, one of my songs. That is, um, yeah, and so you'll find that I couldn't sleep. You'll find that on, on, and if you know, I, I, I feel terrible because you know I only have a small like audience here, and when I plug my songs in it, it you know 
I don't really want to kind of be plugging that to to the only people who are coming to my channel, but the um, as you can when you go to that song page, you'll notice that all of my songs are free to listen to. You can listen to the whole song. It's not like Apple or Amazon or YouTube Music where they where you have to have a subscription or you don't get to listen. You only get to listen to a tiny. You get to listen to the whole song. I just put them out there. All three hundred of my songs are there for you to listen to. But you could buy them, and someday, if that website ever disappears, you will be able, the way the sale process works on there, that if you download that song, you download the song, it's not tied with DRM and tied with their website, and if their website should ever go out of business, you lose all your music you bought. No, you download that song, you get it as a very, very high quality MP3 with uh, 320 kilobits per second. Uh, mp3 the highest quality mp3 that you can make and so that's uh, that's probably the only way that people on this channel can support me is by purchasing <laughs> all of my music <laughs> which would be a dream if somebody would do that it's a few people have bought my music and so uh, I'm not complaining about um, the way my life is right now it's 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 okay and so, uh, but that's where, um, that's, that's a way you can support me in the best possible way, okay, is, 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 because that's really what I'm most, more, even more than the Daz stuff, is I'm a musician. Yeah, at, FLAC is the highest quality, um, probably FLAC or WAV file, you know, the, this is my, um, the, but uh, 320 kilobits is the highest quality mp3 okay that's that's what i um was m meaning yeah but F flack is the highest quality mp3 in the and the website that i that i showcase my music on they only accept mp3s and so i just give make sure that i put the highest quality mp3 there it's not it's not completely lossless it, there is a little bit of um, a noose. There is a little bit of, of compression going on there. But um, but I I could I um, and I I do have all of my songs in WAV files. I actually keep my songs in 32-bit WAV files, and so they. Um, but the uh, 320 kilobits per second is the highest mp3 quality that you can get in an mp3 so that's what they are on there is um, the highest quality mp3 and if you purchase the song you download it it's yours you can copy it over put it on your computer you can put it anywhere you want okay pretty much um it just don't sell them <laughs> or, or put them on a pirate website <laughs> please <laughs> So, but uh, other the thing is, is if if that website should go down, you might be one of the very few people in the whole world with actual copies of my music. So, because not a lot of it is sold, it it is on YouTube, and when I upload it to on the YouTube videos, I do put it in the highest quality that I can put on YouTube. So, um, and maybe that's not the highest quality I can put on YouTube, but. Um, they're pr they're pretty high quality, so because uh, YouTube compresses all that as well once they you upload them. So yeah, so that's a way to support my my efforts here. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to put a a fog in here, and that will take these lights, and these lights will create like a. Um, uh, a uh, like a some I'm free, I don't know what the name of it is like an aura kind of around the light the fog will give it an atmospheric effect so all right now I'm liking what this guy does I've got to go into filament mode and that allows me to manipulate the sky I'm kind of liking this grayish thing but I have to wait and now it's it's may end up too washed out for me to do this. There is a Daz theme song. <laughs>
Well, this is my dad's theme song. Polka time, polka, polka, polka time. <laughs> That's Sigmund's theme as well. Say hi, Sigmund. Hi! Sigmund, your hair is in your eyes. He was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> that's Sigmund's theme. Yes, that's also our dad's theme. <laughs> well, Ang that woke Angus up. Say hi to Angus Albert. Hi, Angus. <laughs> that's Albert. We got Albert at the Goodwill store. Oh, all right, Albert doesn't want me to tell you where we found him. So, yeah. So, yes. <laughs> uh, Angus uh, surprises me because I'll I'll say, oh, do you remember what I was doing in Daz the other night when I did this? And he'll say, oh yeah, I remember that. He's he pays attention. He just sits back and kind of waits for uh, the shit to hit the fan. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Waits for me to start ranting on about something, you know. <laughs> in the hinterlands, Angus sits back in the hinterlands, watching us all. <laughs> well, you know they they are um their their figures too. <laughs> That's how uh, you know all figures are created equal. <laughs> And our, you know, we have inalienable rights. <laughs> yes, that's right, Albert. They do, they do. Let's get rid of this Genesis 8 male. I don't need him in the scene anymore. Okay, and now we're going to go... My gosh, he, he, this guy looks so Italian, and it looks, looks like a very young, like, Rocky Balboa, or, you know, what's what, what was his name? Uh... Sylvester Stallone. He's got that that uh, look to him. That's the Jesus look. <laughs> Still a little bit of Jesus left in in our uh, Genesis nine figure. So we need another figure here. But okay, so I can actually see this HDRI now in in filament mode. See, filament mode is the only place to view your HDRI. Because or or I ray and I ray is too hard to manipulate the HDRI in uh, so you really want to do it in filament mode and that allows me to then to move this HDRI around like this or like this and find the moon. Where is the moon? Okay, I'm going to do go in here and do the perspective view and look up. Let's go out a little bit here. And come up. See if I can find the moon. Where, there's the moon. That's a big moon. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the camera view. I'm going to lock the camera view because I think this is where I want the camera view. So we're going to go to most used and I have a locked camera. Oops, I just locked the environment. I don't want to do that. Unlock. All right, so let's go to our camera, which I think is here. Camera one, favorites, most used. All right, the camera's locked, so we're not going to move it around under my moss-covered rock in the middle of the forest. Yes, there is an eclipse tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I am having uh, my camera show up 
I am getting a new camera for this so that my skin tones and look look right and everything and so I don't have to use an iPhone to uh, for my face cam it's just uh, it's so tomorrow I'm going to have a new camera and it's going to be really really uh, in focus and everything it is a Sony a seven four and with a six 18 millimeter, I think it's 18 millimeter, 16 millimeter lens, fixed lens, lens. So, uh, that is going to be the camera for, for my sh show here. And, and then when I go into this full screen mode like this, and I'm up in the air now, <laughs> oh my gosh, I look terrible. Why am I up in the air? Okay. Somebody took the bottom half of me. Um, so yeah, that's me. So uh, it's it's I'm gonna look it's gonna look better when I have that there, and I'm gonna set the lighting and set things a little bit better. I'm trying to get my studio. Uh, you know, I believe that a lot of the reason why my channel hasn't. Um, you know why YouTube hasn't really pushed? Yes, um, my channel. I'm the, a new. So I'm thinking about that eclipse too. Because if my camera comes close enough, see, I live in a city where there's a lot of lights from the city, and so it's probably going to be very obscured. And I don't own a vehicle, so I'm not going to be able to like go outside the city limits and and photograph the. But the the camera. And the lens, the 16 millimeter lens, is actually an astro astro lens. It's for astrophotography, also because it's such a wide lens. So, and I have other lenses been all, and this is a full frame camera, so I would be able to really capture that eclipse. But I, there's no way for me to get outside of the city, and the city just casts this massive. Um, I don't know what time the eclipse, whether if it's going to be during the day or at night. But um, we'll see. And I have to hope that the camera comes at a, at a decent hour and not like 9 o'clock at night. Uh, so, all right. Now, we are. Um, I'm go what I'm going to do is I want to use this. I want to use this uh, HDRI, but I don't want to. I don't want the moon that big because it will just cover this, and there'll be just a big white spot here. So what I'm going to do is what I do in like almost every picture. I'm just going to create a plane, except. Yeah, um, well, I've been doing a lot of, as uh, you know, as you know, uh, you probably all know, I think everybody in here, even Angus is, Angus has, has spent some years working with photography. Um, I think that's maybe why Ang Angus finds um, this whole 3D stuff, because we're working with cameras and stuff. Yes, and noose. That's the only way to view an HDRI and to to and you can then freely move that HDRI around. Now, not every HDRI I've noticed. Every once in a while, uh, Daz will um, that filament will try to convert an HDRI and it won't do it right. And it will, and sometimes you might have to put the filament uh, this filament. What is it called? Uh, draw options mode and bring down some of the exposure, uh, but you can um, you can actually move the HDRI and see it in, and you can't uh, you can't move the HDRI very well in iRay because it's just too much lag, and you can't do and it doesn't show up in uh, it doesn't show up in texture shaded mode. It only shows up in filament. So. 
Uh, you can move and position your HDRI. I'm still going to posi position the HDRI. I'm going to leave this HDRI in, but what I'm going to do is, like, and I just put the plane in, I think. Yeah, now we have a plane in here. We're going to take this and we're going to go like this and bring this plane up this way. And we might as well just turn it a little bit like this. And then we're going to go Z back, 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 and scale this, and then go back some more. And then scale it some more until and then move it up y translate there we go and now we're going to put the same hdri on the plane and we're going to do that by going into the surfaces of the plane select the plane go to our base color and what, where is that? These are all ES, 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 ES. There it is, nighttime C, I think that it. And there it's on our plane. Look at that, and see now I can move this plane and put a very interesting part of the plane and I can resize it, but we have to also put that on our emission color and put it on our, put this to white, and then put it also for our lumens. And now that plane is an emissive HDR, okay? And then we can move this plane up and over and now we can size the plane so that the moon is the right size. Let's see, go back to parameters. Y would be X. No, this one, X. It would be Z. Like this. And Y translate. And now we have the sky. We can control the sky the way we want. We still have the same HDR. We didn't take that out of the scene. We just have the kind of sky that we want. And it's very high quality because we just took that 8K HDRI and put it on a plane, a small plane, and now and that's the problem with a lot of HDRs. Your scene is so crisp and clean, and the HDR is when you render like at 8,000 or something, you look at your HDR and it's all, it's all pixelated. So now we have a very nice... So what I can do now is I can now put any HDR in and, and get some maybe some more interesting color coloration in the scene than this kind of gray color. So let's see, I'd say something red would be nice, something reddish or an all. Uh, so we go to the environment map, browse, and take me to my HDRI all folder. How about something, this is red nebula, there we go. Oh, BC, now this is making my HDR red. And what I can do is take, so you don't need a shiny plane. So if I take and go into the surfaces of the plane, and if I take the, not the emission color, it would be the glossy color, make it black. And Oh, 
Oh, and then what we do is we take our lumens of the, of the plane and give this a little bit of like five. There we go, or maybe a little bit less. Remember, it's a, an emission, an emissive. Two. And uh, now uh, this is point light. Bring it down. Be right back, T Rex <laughs> and chat. Sundown. I think it's a sin. <laughs> I gotta move my car before it gets broken. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Sung to the tune of the Gordon Lightsfoots. Yes. Yes. Gordon would be very proud of your ad libbing. What do you think of the AI craze? And now Daz is using it. Thanks for the tip to filament. The AI craze. Well, I think Anus, you asked me about. Um, oh, it begins with a D. I think it's like this. Um, and I was kind of wrong about that because I think what people are doing is they're make they're making their Daz renders. And then they're taking their DAS renders and they're giving them to AI and say, make this look better, you know, after you're all done rendering DAS. And, you know, if DAS, if all of a sudden your scene, you know, looks like a million bucks and all of a sudden the water and every, all the shadows and if AI can take a rendered scene and you can just feed that that image to AI and say, make it look better. And um, I, I'm not going to complain about the fact that it can make, that it, it might be able to make the humans. And we definitely have a problem with his pants. It's typical of that Daz, if anyone from Daz, like I'm not going to go on a rant, I promise. But we need mesh smoothing tools in Daz. Okay, look at this, Daz. This is a mess. I've got to take this into Hexagon. I shouldn't have to do this in Hexagon. It should be part of Mesh Grabber. I should just be able to run, rush, put something here and smooth out that mesh that's been messed up with the... Uh... Hello, and Cherry. Welcome, welcome. Every, all, the, all the awesome, nice people are here tonight. Wow. This is very nice to have everybody here. We got 12 likes. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're working on a scene. We got to put another another awesome figure in here. So we're going to put another who who are we going to put? I'm going to put a male figure in here. If anybody's got a a favorite male figure, it's got to be one of the kind of cuter ones uh so he's gonna be hauling some guy around on the back i think i'm past the genesis 9 okay we got we already have jesus this is jesus but i morphed his face a little bit um why don't we put nathan in here what environment scene is this tonight? This is uh, something that um, Daz today has a, uh, a special which says anything that's in your wish list that you can get 70% off if you buy something new. This is called Escape, and it was in my wish list. 
it's 22 bucks and it's not on even if it was on sale it wouldn't matter because they don't honor the sale they just give you 70 percent off i don't even th i think i wasted my tokens turning them on because uh they just give you 70 percent off but i ended up paying six bucks for this and this is pretty nice um this is you can t take the top off the i think this is called a gondola or something Apparently there's two ores, or if you want, you can copy the ore. I don't know what happened to the other ore, but either ore. Um, but we had one ore, so uh, then there's all these parts, but it comes with a scene that you just... This is the scene, and I think uh, my scene looks... Uh, I mean, it just looks nice, and it's, it's, it's a nice scene right here. So I'm going to have another person sitting back there. And uh, then I'm going to put some fog in here. We'll wait for the fog. And hopefully the lights that I have in here will create like some kind of... We'll see what happens with all of this. So um, now I'm not sure that I like this red. Maybe a, a blue blue sky would be better than the red. Because uh, we already have enough red coming from the windows. So we go to the environment options, surfaces. You are not interrupting me at all. Um, I am here to, uh, to interact. That's why I'm here. If, if I didn't want interruptions, uh, and I, I'm not saying this in a um, sarcastic or I'm saying this in a very friendly way. If I didn't really desire and want interruptions, I wouldn't be live and online. I would just make my scenes and upload them. I am here so that everybody can, people can come in and say, um, you know, I think the sky would, would be better um, uh, to, to have it uh, blue than, uh, than red, red tinted kind of thing. So I'm here. Uh, Berlin, I mean, Ted, I mean, I keep thinking every time you come in, uh, Ted, welcome, 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 friend. You are welcome here. It's very nice to have you stop in and say hi. Very nice. So, yeah, we got, this has been a good, good night to have, uh, to, to come on here live. You know, if, if I... If I broadcast a little early, like I started tonight at around five, I've been here almost three hours. But if I uh, if I broadcast a little earlier and gave you people a chance to come at at reasonable hours of the day, so it's, it seems as though the time when I finally get out here, uh, it's uh, it's late. <laughs> and uh, let's try one of these twilight scenes. You know, I think I loaded the JPEG. I think this is a JPEG, and it's supposed to be. Now, see, look at this. This is interesting. I think if we went with the blue, blue one instead of the purple one. Um, the blue one. So, yeah, we are, Ted, we are working here. Yes, it does. And I think that's what we need is to, to go with the blue, the blue. All right, we're going to go back to the HDR. HDR, I, all. It does. I think the blue is the where we're going to go, but it's a little too blue. I think it's got to be more purplish, bluish rather than purple. And I have I have a, a certain set in mind, and when I can find it, I what I'll do is I'll bring the the same blue sky in from well, I'll know it when I see them. I'm looking for blue and and not so much bluish green or I have this reoccurring dream of Venice. I, I have this dream where I'm it's nighttime and it's it 
looks just like the kind of this place. It's a, and I, I, you know, I'm not really in control of my dreams. Sometimes I, I, I think I dream too vividly and too often, and it kind of bothers me. Um, but that's the way that's the way my brain works. I have I just have these vivid kind of <laughs> visions, and uh, and one of them is walking around in Venice at, at night, and I don't know what, why I have that dream so but it's it's actually a very beautiful dream and uh it's always been a beautiful dream it's very and the moon the moon is always shining on the water and there's always these little bridges and it's always these like cobblestone streets and the back alley kind of way with moss growing up the buildings and just like amazing and I, I i run into like troubadours that are dance singing in the streets and stuff it's yeah it's like really weird dreams and uh and it, and it's the kind of dream that goes into your heart it's like it's in your deep in your in your it's part of me and i don't know why but it's something that's very deep in my psyche you know so you have dreams and you just kind of think well that was weird but sometimes the dreams just get really into you and they they and they and they stick with you you never you don't forget them and so you know with daz it's it's a chance for me to kind of uh now here are those same twilight ones but it gives me different. So this is the purple ones. These are the blue ones. The 4K, 8K. Let's do the Twilight with the 8K. Now I'm not sure why it went back. Okay, this is the blue now. This is, a, and I can make it more blue. Okay, I can add some tint to blue it up even more. <laughs> That's amore. And that's Dean Martin. Okay, so th this, yes, that is. Oh, eight K. Okay, and see, this is the J JPEG one HDR. Okay, nighttime. I think that's all right. That is an HDR. Let's double check and make sure we put an HDR on that. Surfaces, plane, it's got to be an HDR. That is an HDR, so we got at least got that right. Okay, so let's take this environment down a little bit. It's still a little too bright. I want it kind of dark so that these lights have a little bit more parameters. Let's go down to one. Okay, let's go down to 0.5. And let's go down to 0.5 here. All right, and that's a little bit too much. Let's go to 0.9. Well, point, point nine. There we go. And uh, now we have these. I'm going to put another figure in here now. Let's put, I was thinking Nathan. Nathan. That's Amore. Okay, we don't have to have the HD Nathan. Uh, I know the Elvis version. It's now or never. Come hold me tight. Be mine tonight. I wonder if maybe some point lights with the moonlight color or maybe some orange might be nice too 
from the orange lamps on the river. That's exactly what we're going to do. You see, this is a little, it's hard to see what's here, but this is a little uh, lantern hanging from the front of the boat, of the like gondolier or whatever this would be. Um, we're going to have some, what we're going to do is I'm going to put some VDBs in here and make this kind of foggy. And then the lights that are in here will re react with the VDBs. And you see, I have a hidden light in here. It's a, it's a point light that's here. And there's going to be a point light on the person sitting in the back here. And so... And yes, they're going to be yellow, be orange yellow, because they're going to be, it's, it's going to be as if this light here is, it's going to be, I'm going to be kind of playing with the physics of light, but it's going to be as if this light is casting that light on these two figures. But it, I'm going to actually cheat and use like a little, little point light. I might use a spotlight, but it's going to point up in that direction and point back so that we have uh, um, so that we have um, I, I don't know I don't think Nathan's working in here now that I see him in here I think I, I've got to go with uh, one of the other Genesis 9 maybe one of the darker complected ones um, we have a couple of them I can't think of their names but I'll see them here um, okay, we have to go switch to highest first. So yes, that's exactly what's in my thoughts too, is to use, okay, one of these guys. I think we'll go with Cade. All right. Can we go in there, Cade? Let's get Cade. And uh, like a big now you had to put that song in my pizza pie. That's amore. Yep. <laughs> That's okay, it's not the first song. At least it's like not the sun'll come out tomorrow. And then the redundant, redundant, this song is redundant. Yes. Now you can have all have that in your head. <laughs> Okay, we have Cade. <laughs> That's a banger. <laughs> yes, we have to fix Cade's pants. I mean, fix uh, Jesus' pants. John 9 pants. I'm, I'm thinking that his beard's got to be a little darker. So we'll see. Okay, yes, he's fitting. He fits in the scene now. So we have to get him sitting. Let's go out of IRA. I go out of IRA thinking, okay, we're going to work with the nudity, and it's like it's worse. Um, let's put some clothes on him first. Then we'll sit him down. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter a lot. The Monday outfit will... He's going to be in the background, so let's just do the, uh, where are the pants? So we don't want sweatpants on him. Uh, I think, no, that's a little too casual. Uh, Dynasty attire. Okay, wardrobe. We'll go with the attire pants. Just in case we need the boots. The shirt. And the jacket. 
I could have gone with the all, but I don't know if there's going to be some... That's nice. Kind of works. And we got to give him some hair. And we might as well get him all done here. Where's the hair? Okay, if we go here, hair. Genesis 9 hair. And I think I want the black, his hair black. Ebony. Ebony. Genesis 9, where? Shaders. Okay, those are materials. These. Iray. Why do they say Genesis 8? All right, these are that's shine hair Genesis nine. Okay, did I put the wrong hair on? No, I don't think so. Let's just try one of these. No, these are not H materials. We have to select the hair. There, that worked. Okay, now let's put him in a sitting position. This should be fairly easy. Poses by function. Sitting. Don't rock the boat, baby. Don't tip the boat over. Oh, well, that was nice. Daz crashed. All right. All right. When did I save it last? Probably not after I did the sky. Rock the boat. I might have surprised myself and saved it. Would you like to save the gene changes? No. I know, I know, Eve. <laughs> it happens. And then it happened. So different and so new. I'm singing again, Art. This magic moment. That, who sings that song? You're not allowed to Google it. <laughs> Until I found you. That is the Drifters. They also sing a couple of um, other songs that I like. Well, we saved it somewhere here. It's not too bad. I don't. I don't know. You saw the Drifters live a few months ago. Oh my gosh! Wow, I love the Drifters. I like, you can dance, every dance with the guy that holds you, let him hold you tight, you can smile, and every man beneath the pale moonlight, but don't forget who's taking you home, and in whose arms you're gonna be, so darling, 
Save the last dance for me. Mmm, oh, I know that the music is fine and the sparkling wine. Go and have some fun. Yep, and then I like the other one um, that they do. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Every time my little world seems blue, <laughs> I just have to look at you, and something happens to me. Mm, that's some kind of wonderful. You know, I can't express this feeling of tenderness. My neighbors are going to kick me out. So much that I want to say, but the right words don't come my way. I just know when I'm in your embrace. Mm, this world is such a happy place. And something happens to me. Mm, that's some kind of wonderful. Yep, that's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> yeah, that's live. Live me. <laughs> nice smiley and Jerry. I'm smiling too. <laughs> All right, so we, what do we got here? We got to put another figure in here. I forgot, what did I do last? I mean, what, we changed the sky. Let's see what our, at least it's not red, so we, I know I kind of said, I don't think, remember I, lo, I got everything darker? I think this is before I changed, what else did I change? The, at least the ore in his, in his hand, I think his finger's going through the ore, so we're gonna have to fix his pinky. Let's just bring the other figure in, okay? Because I kind of know what I want to do with him. What I want to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 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 there it is. There is our Cade. We bring Cade in. And we find the same suit. But the right words don't come my way. Oh, I'm so glad to have get rid of that microphone. The microphone that was like always here, right, like right in front of me every time. It's just like, oh my gosh. Now it's like up here. Hello. But it's just so much nicer having it. And also when I'd move away from the microphone a little bit, it would just, I, my voice was like in and out and in and out and I'm I, I'm antsy I sit I'm always kind of shifting around and doing stuff and you know, I just uh, don't sit still for very long and so I and then I have this these moments where I sit and talk to myself I mumble or uh yeah I go and uh talk and it picks me up even if I'm whispering. It picks me up. All right, here's Cade. He fits in the scene. Uh, let's get some clothes for Cade. So, wardrobe, save it. Wardrobe. Okay, oh, it's still saving or doing something. Can I have control back? All right, there's wardrobe. We have Cade. Now we're looking for that same suit here. I thought that looked good on him. Oh, highest first. Okay, that's still there. All right, where is it? 
So much that I want to say. There it is. But the right words don't come my way. I just know when I'm in your embrace. All right, here we go. We're going to put the pants on. Why is that shirt? Okay, I, that's because I'm putting it on in the environment. Z, Z. Let's select, try selecting Cade and putting the clothes on him instead. Mmm, this world is such a happy place. And something happened to me. Uh, save it. Okay, what do we have for accessories? There's no kind of hat or anything. Shoulder fur. I don't think we need shoulder fur in this environment. Okay, so now what we're going to do... He, oh my gosh, his arm is coming right through the other guy's belly. Wow, I hate it when that happens. So now we have to put on some hair. Hair, hair, hair. Where I already know what hair I want to use. The, uh... If I can find it. Oh, yeah, we used the... Okay, this hair would work. For Genesis 9, James hair. Of course. Where's the hair... itself? Okay, save this, and then we go to materials. We're going to go with black. Is that for the Genesis 9? Yes. And that is an H material, so that put that on without me having to select the hair. That works. Save this. And now we go to our poses. By function, we're going to go to Files, Poses, by function, Sitting. Sitting in an English garden waiting for the sun. I am the Eggman. <laughs> I am the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. All right. Now, uh, I think his head turned like that is kind of nice because then it shows like, uh, we'll see. We shall see. Let's push him back a little bit. Nine. Yep. Control L. How about some light here? All right, save this. Now we're going to venture down that way and make sure he's actually sitting in the boat and not like that's what I thought. Oh, 
I think that's a little too much. He lifts the oar out of the water and he's going to be sitting in the water. Not going to worry about his foot going through the boat. All of that's okay because uh, there's, there's water in the boat, but we're, our camera is low enough. I made sure that they can't really see the water in the boat. Now, unfortunately now, we have now that sign is going to be an issue. So I might just turn the sign off so we don't have the sign or Z. And okay, we'll move the sign and put the sign up here. Well, that's a little bit kind of that might work. A little higher. Okay. Save this. Now let's see what these guys look. Now we can work with the lighting and the fog. Yeah. All right, we take go nine. We can turn this point light back on so we can see it. Parameters, display, on, edit, duplicate, node hierarchies. I just always do that one because I, I don't know if it has any or not. And if I do that, then I'm safe. So if I duplicate, I always duplicate with that. All right. We're going to go like that. OK, there's going to be that. And then we're going to take this one here. Bring that up. that camera let's see what this looks like Well, that kind of works. We just got to turn them down a little bit and parameters, point light, lumens. And this one here. Three. Okay, now what we're going to do is take, I think there's something wrong with this, the positioning of this light. It's not really lighting him. Like it's up too high or something, I don't know. 
Yeah, it's too far away. You're too far away. Nothing ever stays in the same place anymore. Used to be so fine to see your face at my door. Doesn't help to know You're so far away Hey, you're so far away Okay, they're gonna be a little bit more of this kind of reddish look There's a bad moon on the rise. Oh, I see. Their moon lightning. Trouble's on the way. Don't come around tonight. Bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Yeah. An eclipse, too. All right, so we're going to bring this one up a little more. I think I brought that down, the temperature down, but we're going to bring this up to four, five, maybe. Okay, let's see what happens when we bring in our VDB. Save. Okay, this one, this bad backlight here needs a little, it's just... Uh, Needs the temperature brought down a little too. Okay. Now let's bring in our VDB, my favorite VDB of all VDBs. Default is VDB. I always use this one. I don't we don't need capitals in there, but I put it in anyway. Control alternate minus. Let's get all of them. Have a good night, and Cherry, thank you for hanging out and being part of this evening's festivities. I appreciate having you here. Yes. Yes, I, I'm a huge uh, CCR fan, too. They, uh... They're, they're awesome. Uh, I like the Midnight Special. Ooh, look what we have here now. This is reacting so well with the VDB. Nine. We're going to move the VDB. We're going to move it over and in a little bit, I guess. Well, I have to see what I'm doing with this VDB. Have a good night. Have a good night. And Cherry, thank you for being with us. And uh, it's been fun. I'm not going to be here much too longer. As you can see, the scene. Okay, now I'm having a problem with my graphics card. I don't see this happens. And I, I think I'm not sure what causes it. But I know how to fix it. You see, one half of the VDB is gone. And it won't be gone if I render it. It's only an iRay. And I have two 3090s. And if I turn one of the 3090s off, then it forces the other 3090 to deal with the... So there's a problem in DAZ right now, how it handles dual graphics cards when it comes to displaying VDBs. And I've done so much, I've gone deep into NVIDIA settings and I've optimized all kinds of parameters. I've done so much to try and fix this, updated my drivers, updated Windows, you know, everything. And it's just, it stay, it's always here. And so now uh, what I wanted to do was 
There was another thing first that I wanted to do. But okay, let's go into render settings. Oh, I wanted to render this and just see if it's still here. Okay, we go to progressive. Let's go to maximum samples. Maximum time. Turn the render quality off. This is in HD. Let's see if it it will render. And if I close as and come back, and, and it usually happens when I have a large scene, if I have a small scene, if I don't have too much in the scene, it's less likely to happen with when I put VDBs in. I can put like five and ten VDBs in, and it won't happen. It has to do with when my cards start to become full. And I've tried, like, because I have one, two, three... Three monitors running right now. One of them is a TV. So, yeah, see, it's it's actually displaying in the render, but it's just not. Um, this is really nice. See, now what I have to do is darken this scene a little more to make it even seem. Yeah, um, I this is what you're talking about, and news is what I started this whole night out talking about because somebody, um, like right now, the broadcasting. Um, on my other computer, see, I'm not broadcasting on my on my workstation. I have two computers, and what I do is I send the HTML. I duplicate my screen. My my I duplicate this screen, and I send the same. I send I send a copy out of this screen to my another computer. Uh, that has like, you know, eight cores and uh, they're AMD cores and it's got, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, like six, 32, 32 or gigs of RAM. And uh, it also has a, uh, a 1080 Ti, which is a pretty hefty graphics card. No, it actually has a brand new uh, Intel uh, like X7 or something. It's like, it's like the, the their flagship, the top of the line Intel graphics card that um it, that works <clears throat> that does uh, this A1 compression to send it up to YouTube. Now my cameras are. So so my computer is not handling the streaming. Okay, at all. All it's doing is, is, and I have two 3090s in here, and all it's doing is sending out, uh, it's doing three, uh, three monitors. My, my work, I, 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 I have names for the computers. This computer that I'm using, Daz, is my workstation computer, and then the streaming computer. And so the workstation computer is hooked to three monitors. It's this monitor that I'm looking at, which is this main one here. And that's a 4K monitor. And then this desktop is duplicated. Yeah, this computer right here has 128 gigs of RAM in it, like very fast RAM. It has 18 cores and... And it has uh, the and they're they're extreme cores. They're 18 i9 extreme cores. It has two yeah two 3090 graphics cards. And then we're we're hooked up. Okay, this back this plane here. I I don't want the moon like right in the center. I want it. I don't know if I I want it off to the side a little bit, so that it's kind of obscured a little bit. I love these, I love this 
HDRI, but I don't like the way the moon looks in them. They kind of got botched a little bit, I think. Yeah, see, I, that's what I want. It's like peeking around the corner kind of thing. Just the moon in the center is just so typical, so kind of, so uh, typical. I just want it a little bit different. Um, and the, like it's, like the moon is peering around the corner, like kind of thing. Now the, uh, Okay, so it renders, but when I go in, now you see this is not only showing. So the thing about my cameras, I found out, like, if I can give you guys some advice, if any of you are ever thinking of doing this for, for YouTube, okay, is don't buy an expensive webcam, period. Do not buy a webcam. Just buy a, buy a very expensive, like, um, Sony camera, or use your your iPhone, your iPhone. Or, and the thing is, is I have like an iPhone 14, and I have a uh, a Samsung Galaxy S uh, 22. And so these these phones are fine for because they have a processor in them. So the phone does all the graphics or or and like this top down this keyboard camera that's a sony at dslr pointing down at this and it has a, it has a wide lens and so the sony dslr has a processor inside of it 3070 is a nice card very very nice two monitors oh that's very nice Ted, very nice, very nice. Yeah, the 30 series are very nice, that, and that's 3070 you do what do well with for you. Yeah, very very well. Um, I I do this because the thing is, is I put you know I don't have a car. Okay, so what I did was I put my car money that I would have spent on a car. <laughs> I bet all of you have a car. <laughs> But I don't have a car. And that's the thing, is the money that I would have spent into the car, okay, I put into 10,000 DAS models, and I put into uh, my computer. And so into two graphics cards, 18 cores, and buying another computer. And the second computer that I have didn't cost that much. It was like $800. And, but the graphics card in it, I paid a thousand dollars for. I can't believe I did that. 1080 Ti. I paid a thousand dollars for a 1080 Ti, and then I paid um, 500 for another 1080 Ti that's sitting in a drawer, and I'm selling that 1080 Ti for 50 bucks. <laughs> so if anybody wants a 1080 Ti, I'm selling it for 50 bucks. But you have to pay for shipping. So. Uh, yeah, so the thing is, is, don't buy a webcam because the webcam doesn't have any processor chip inside of it, okay? And so when you plug that webcam into your streaming computer, because that's where you would plug the webcam, is so that it's in your streaming computer and then your com streaming computer can stream it over the internet. Then your computer has to do all of that, like white balance and all of that stuff Instead of, like, if you hook your phone to your computer, all of that white balance and all of that exposure and, and the, the shutter speed and all of that stuff is handled by the processor in the phone. And all the phone does is it, is it gets, prepares that video and pushes it out to your, to your computer. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that's the thing, is that you, you, you people all have cars, you know, and um, I, I've done that all my life. When I was very young, uh, 18, 19 years old, my mother 
told me, she says, I want to do something for you, son. I, I don't know what, but she says, I'm going to give you an, a, ch a choice. She says, what do you want? Do you want a car or do you want a recording studio? And I, I said, a recording studio. <laughs> and so I got a recording studio. I got a, a Fostex reel to reel. <laughs> that was years ago. Uh, my mode of transportation is I walk and, um, and during the winter, okay, it says that I've got some kind of, maybe it's, uh, sometimes this has to do with, uh, sometimes when that happens, it's just internet congestion. And right now I don't have a, um, I don't have fiber internet. Okay, so it's back. Okay, we're we're I'm back for now. We'll see what happens. Uh but it's it's not congestion on my computer. It's it is um because I like I said I the the cameras that go into my computer are fully dedicated computers like my my Sony uh A6100 has has chips inside of it and they handle all that to, and all they do is send out a, a stream to my streaming they send out the final hdmi to the like so all the computer has to do is is receive that 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 data it doesn't have to literally deal with every frame and 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 uh do all the white balance for each frame and all that stuff it's all handled by the by the computer by the uh, processor in the computer and now that it's is that coming through here is it showing on my camera okay so and that's the same with the iPhone that's pointing at me right now it has a fully dedicated chip inside of it so all it's doing is sending video out and it's actually sending that video out to my computer through Wi-Fi and that could be um, a problem right there so but that's going to be changing um, tomorrow when the I, I'm, I'm getting a I got I, <laughs> I got a credit another credit card, and so I've got um, they're they're sending me the credit card people are sending me a camera, <laughs> and it's a uh, three thousand two hundred dollar camera with a lens on it, and it's going to be a, uh, a full frame Sony A Sony what A seven four with a uh it begins with a v it's a 16 millimeter lens and so that's going to be this and then no longer will that i'll be running a, a direct wire i won't be running wi-fi into my computer i'll be running and that so that won't be taking up so it could be the 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 phone wi-fi that's going to my computer could be kind of messing around with my with my uh, broadcast here. So what we're going to do here is I'm almost and it says we have an excellent connection again so I'm not sure what's going on but the thing is is I'm not I'm talking a lot and I'm not really I'm talking a lot but I'm not really doing anything so it's kind of when I start moving again um, so it, that it seems as though the stream is actually something and not just like dead air that's being broadcast over over the cable company so let's get back here let's try and finish this scene so that uh so when i go into my reading render settings and i turn off i think this particular compute uh um graphics card then i come back in here let's go back to texture shaded let's come back in here let's see how long and it, it usually if my internet's down it's my internet provider okay they're just uh they're having a problem here so i would like to fix his pants too but um see now we have the vdb back okay so it's it's it because one of the graphics cards is just not displaying the vdb and and i, I tend to think it's something to do either it's something to do either with iray or with daz so all right, so what we're going to, I think this is okay, but let's bring the um, VDB over a little bit more here. Like, I think I can do this while it's working here.
There seems to be a little hole in between here. Yeah. And then what we can do, that kind of works. And then what we'll do is just bring down the surfaces. We'll bring down the density a little bit in the VDB. So it's not so dense. Five. Oh, not 50. Five. That works. That will... All right, uh, all right, this, it works, but it's not quite what I'm, what I want, you know, because it's covering him too much, and so we're going to rotate the VDB a little bit, and let's go back here until it's in the right place. There we go. No, uh, you just have to get it right. These are little spindles that come up. Oh, now we got the boat Z. isn't working. Okay, we're going to rotate. We're going to bring this back here towards the center. And we're going to rotate it until we get it. To look right. What if we bring it down some? Okay, this guy doesn't seem like he's sitting at sitting. I'm going to lower him down a little bit more on the seat. You know, I wonder. Okay, I got to go back and look in the back. So far, so good. Camera, it seems as though it, if when I stop working, you know, that's when it happens. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go back to the perspective view and see if I just, like, put him down through the chair. I don't think he's sitting there, right? No, he's not. Somehow I moved him or something. Or the boat or something, but he's just not... Not in the right place. Gosh, she's all kind of off kilter. All right. Okay, back to the camera. That works, I guess. Save this. All right, we're going to bring this guy into hexagon and fix his pants. Um, this is John. 
let's go to send to hexagon okay that crash probably let's turn off the eyelashes tear the eyes the mouth fiber eyebrows we don't need the shirt the shoes we don't need the oar or the cap and we need the pants and that's it all right, we're gonna now go here and UV paint. Okay, which one? All right, and we've got to go uh, select the pants. That's what's wrong. Okay, and then we've got to make this a little larger. These are the tools we need right in DAS. Shouldn't have to come here to do this. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, the, okay, here we go. The tool, right tool here to do this with. We'll be done in a moment, Jesus. Just, uh, okay. Okay. Now we got the pants selected. File, export, would be sent to DAS. Oh, now we come back here to DAS. Oh, that's wonderful. Close, I don't know if I saved the DAS. Well, now we're in a mess, we're in a pickle. We gotta close this. Would you like to send the changes? No, because DAS has been closed and crashed. So what I did was I sent too many things over. I've just got to select a couple of things to send. Okay. We are back. Yeah. That's very odd that it was just happened at that time. <laughs> so it's like, oh, do you know when, when those times when my computer <laughs> gets very, uh, <laughs> starts to, uh, that spinning thing? <laughs> well, you know, I, it, it just occurred to me tonight that yes, I'm, I'm using my iPhone and my iPhone is uh, save as uh, uh, open recent. Venice Romance, would you like to save the changes? No. All right. Is that I am, my camera that's focused on me right now tonight is an iPhone. And uh, it's, yes, it's doing all the processing, but instead of running a, uh, a direct wire out of the iPhone, because I bought this little card that... You plug into your iPhone, 
It's like this is in the box, I gotta send it back. But you plug it into your iPhone, it has an HDMI out, and it has like a, a lightning in to charge, to power it. And so you can run an HDMI into my other computer. Well, this doesn't work. And so it does, I have two iPhones and it doesn't work with either of them. So I'm sending it back to Amazon. I ordered another one that was like eight bucks. This one was like 20 or 30 bucks or something. And this other one's eight bucks. This one has a card reader in it, which I don't need. I just need the HDMI out. So I'm actually beaming the, the iPhone to, okay, where is this scene? It's supposed to be here. It's still loading, I guess. Yeah, it's still loading. So I'm beaming the iPhone through my Wi-Fi, which is probably wreaking havoc on my internet connection because it does take some of my... Now, did I... Sa I think I saved this after I... I'll know where I am here. Control L here. Well, at least it uh, was after I fixed the... put the VDB in. All right, so... I may make these, and this light should be maybe a little yellower, I think. Uh, so just all these weird things that I see. I see so many little things that need to be fixed. Okay, perspective. Let's see if he's sitting in the boat. If he is, then I saved it. I, d I did. So uh, the only thing, okay, so we're going to take and fix Jesus's pants. So we've got to select the pants. Where are the pants? Okay, let's just select Jesus at least. All right, and now let's go to the pants. Okay, we got to select Jesus, John, and the pants. And we'll send them to Hexagon. See if that works. Okay. I think it will bring all kinds of other stuff in anyway. Yeah, it's bringing all this stuff in. It's crashing. See, this, this is why we need mesh smoothing tools in DAS. And I just, oh, you know, I just can't believe we can't smooth. I can't just, I, all I need is two, these couple of mesh smooth, one mesh, to, one tool, and maybe the pinch tool. In DAS. Okay, close DAS. DAS crashed. You know, it's like... So I'm going to have to bring this into Blender just to fix these pants. And it's every... It's like every pair of pants. Every pair of pants. They, their weight maps are just horrible. Would you like to send... No, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's the pole or whatever, but what I've got to do is like unparent everything, including his teeth, and then send it in, try to send it in. I know, I'm having one of my anger moments now. Now you can see what does this to me. <laughs> Live, Rex Red freaks out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> So you got to have a sense of humor, even though, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a dire situation. So it's still Sunday. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's Sunday all day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're here. We're going to go open recent Venice Romance. Would you like to save changes? No. Mm. 
But the right words don't come my way. All I know is when I'm in your embrace. This world is a happy place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's some kind of wonderful. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to unparent his teeth, his eyebrows, his the oar, the everything. And we're, then we'll parent it back after we come back, after we get the more for his pants. So that when we bring him into to hexagon, we're just bringing in the figure and the pants. That's the plan. Will it work? I don't know. I don't know. So we'll find out. Yep. Okay. We're going to go out of I-Ray. Control L, turn on the light. All right, we're going to find our guy here. This, this is probably what I would chalk up as a workflow issue. Because as soon as I put him in the, into this pose, I should have probably made the morph for his pants. Because, you know, then I added hair and beard hair and all of this other stuff that now I've got to take and unparent from him. Okay, so we go unparent. Let's see what happens. We just have to parent it all back. Okay, the outfit cap, unparent. And see, hopefully it all goes back into the, 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 uh, into the right place. The or unparent, the shirt, unparent, shoes, unparent, the mouth and the, all those should be okay, but we'll just, you know, I could delete the mouth. I don't need the mouth. He does not, doesn't even have his mouth open. The eyebrows, we'll leave the eyebrows, the shaved hair, we'll unparent that. That's weird. It looked like the, well, okay, no, I guess not. Um, all right. We got the John and the hip. We got all this stuff here. That All of those are unparented except for these now. And outfit pants. We could get rid of the eyebrows too, but I don't think that's the problem. Okay, so we're going to select this file. Send to... Hexagon. Okay. Why is the shirt there? I thought, oh, outfit cap. Well, that's weird, but it, it worked okay, I think. I think it was the ore. No, that's not that. I think it was the ore that was the problem. Okay, I unparented it. Oh, they. All right, it's working. So we go back to hexagon and we select the pants we go to UV paint he's in his pose the right pose we're going to turn it turn it like this come in here like this turn it okay and now we're going to go to this you got to make this a little larger 
I don't know why, but if you don't do that, they don't work. We need this tool in DAS. And you know what? It needs to be animatable so that when we go to the next frame in an animation, that it stays and that we can add, that we can then animate it again and again for each frame. Because when you go into the next frame, it freaks out again. Now, uh, I will reiterate about this particular pro about this process. Don't go down their pants and smooth and all of that, or else it's just going to look like, because they, they worked very hard to put these particular, um, these things in the pants, these wrinkles and creases and stuff. So you don't want to go down those parts, only go down the parts. Now there's another issue here. See, this is our, uh, there, okay, is we got to pull this together. Okay, and we got to make this a little bigger. We're going to pull this together here. All right, now we're going to say accept. That's good enough. OK, at least we don't have something really weird sticking out down there. File, send to DAS Studio. We go to DAS Studio. We go here. We go to reverse deformations and say yes. Right click here, yes. We're going to call, call this uh, hexagon pants morph, morph, accept, created successfully. Now let's go to our perspective view and let's take a look what happens when we dial in our morph. You know, if this didn't mean like a lot to me to have these things fixed, you know, I wouldn't be get kind of upset about it. I wouldn't know how to do this, but obviously I spent the time figuring out a way to do it. And I first tried to do it in Blender. I tried to do it in Hexagon. I had the Hexagon wouldn't work. Hexagon crashed. Then I found out you had to use the 64-bit Hexagon to do this with. Um, and okay, so now we go to the pants. And I have to fix that finger. Uh, pants, where are the pants, pants, pants? John pants. And now we go to parameters here and all the way down to the bottom. And we just dial this up and it's fixed, kind of fixed. It's better than it was. Okay, so now we're going to fix this finger. Here, his hand. Oh, there was some other thing. Okay, his beard is floating in the air. <laughs> there was one other thing that you have to turn off to make this work. Um, oh, what was it? Smoothing. Sub D. No, it was another thing. What happens if we turn on smoothing? See, that smooths it a little bit, fixes it. And we'll do the sub D a little bit. Okay, that kind of fixed that a little bit more. Sometimes you have to turn off sub D. Okay, now his beard. Okay, we're just going to, what the heck? Z. 
Okay, let's put that parent that beard to John. Let's parent the cap to John. What is that? That is his pants. Z. Okay, I think I have to turn off the smoothing. Okay, pants. Smoothing. Yep. Can't use smoothing. Okay, it's okay. <sighs> Beard, is that? Okay, all of these have to go back into John. The mouth. Shirt. Mouth. Shoes. Cap. And beard. And the right oar. It should be probably parented to his hands, but Okay, now we can select this. I don't know what mode I'm in, but I wasn't in. What did I just do? Move him? No. It's not. So everything's sticking to, together here, at least the way it's supposed to. Okay, bend. Pinky, bend, okay, he looks very fierce right there, perspective, camera, save this, okay. And now we go into iRay and see what we have. You know, it's not, you know, once I learned how to do the that hexagon thing, it's not that difficult to do. So I'm gonna take this and bring this fog. I don't know if that got saved. I think it crashed at one point, and the fog is still, I think I would like to have it at five surfaces. If it's not, if it's at five, yeah, we'll bring it down a little more to like two. And this light, I'd like to have a little bit warmer. Emissive. Lantern. I think we just pick, select the lantern. Go to surfaces here. Glass flame, flame, that's to be it. And we go to color. We'll just make it a little bit. That didn't work, Z. Glossy color, we'll try that. Z. Uh. Let's go down here to emission color, we'll try. See this, what we need to do is take this image here this one. This is called Pre 
Metatron, Medieval, okay. Mark, it's tall, diffuse.jpg. E. Where are the, it just doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> there's so many, C, D, E, this is strange, okay, we're going to go copy surface, Okay, we're going to go to here. Okay, I think oh, that didn't work. None. Now we've lost our emission color. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. What I wanted to do in the first place. See if this is actually, that is the flame. All right, we're just gonna use a better flame. Default. Go here, fire, or we go flame. See what it comes up. Okay, wow. <laughs> We got a flame. And we're going to go parameters, scale that down a little bit. I'll move it over and we'll scale it again. Scale. Parameters, I mean perspective, okay. Take me to the flame. Okay, back to the camera. I ray. Well, that's not very flamey. Well, okay, 
I'm going to get up close here. Now what I want to do is Y scale it. That. I guess that works. It'll it'll reticulate. So what we're going to do is turn our fog up a little more. Two surfaces. That's to back to let's go to four. And then we're going to put little point light here. Uh, I've found that tr like trying to get this light, this flame to actually cast light is much harder than just kind of cheating and putting a A light here to like act like the light. So if you have like people sitting around a campfire, use don't expect the campfire to give you that glow effect that you really are looking for. Just uh, use these kind of lights to create the effect. So now we go to the parameters of this light. We just bring it down to temperature down. And bring up the lumens. Let's see what this looks like. Now let's hide this in the viewport. Yeah, see how that kind of works to do this. And we go to this. Point light, let's give this, let's give these lights a little bit more so our figures come out more. I don't think this light is actually on my figure. Too far away. Okay. 
intensity. All right, now this smoke is too, still a little too high, so we'll go here and go to three. All right, let's give this a render. Okay, there was something else. The environment is just too bright. I'm going to take this VDB down a little bit. Let's close down. All right, so let's take this down to one and see what happens. Yeah. This will reticulate, okay, this. So that, I like it a little darker there. And I think we've got something here. These, these lights might be a little too, because it's just making their skin look too. Yeah, we want them to look a little more natural. Just a little bit. Less saturated. Okay. Let's do a quick render. Well, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to render this with my other graphics card on. It's like twice as fast. So I think this is going to do it today. I think it is. This is going to render nicely. Okay, so uh, yes, we can cancel this so I can render it with two graphics cards instead of one. We go to render settings, advanced. Now, when I turn that on, save this. Let's go out of iRay, control nine, and render it. Okay, this is it. This is our scene. This is out of a dream. See these Genesis 9 figures, they they work so well. They just you know, I'm in awe because I'm just, you know, I might seem like I'm, you know, somebody who, you know, kind of kind of knows a little bit about this, but these people that make these figures and stuff, I'm like little teeny. I I take what they make. You know, and I, I, I kind of pride myself in the fact that a lot, like when I look at a lot of the, a lot of the artwork that they do to the promo art and say, you know, that's horrible. You know, it's like a lot of the promo art is horrible, <laughs> but the, but the products in the promo art are just phenomenal. And, you know, it's, it's up to us to take their, their, you know, their art. They know how to make hair. They know how to make figures. They know how to make these things. They don't know how to make promos. That's something for us to do. That's for us to do. So 
I'm going to look and see. Uh, nobody has chatted in a while. I'm wondering if my chat is like turned off. Uh, it probably is because that's just uh, par for the course. That's the way things go. So unable to connect to chat. Let me see. There's probably... Uh, okay, let's close this chat and reopen it maybe. <laughs> Uh, chat. I'm not sure how to connect. Okay, hello. <laughs> all right. It's, I'm in the chat. So, all right. Well, thank you anyway, people, for watching. This is going to take a good while to render, to render, render. What, how, how many iterations are we at right now? This is, uh, 2000 <laughs> so technically it's done but i don't really like the i think i've got to bring the vdb down one more let me look because it's the vdb is a is a little bit we're getting some a lot of distortion in here i think i got to turn that light down a little bit too as well so uh let's see let's take our point light that was the last point light point light three and let's just bring that down a little bit so it's not creating such we'll go to five and what was the other thing there's one other thing oh i want to re i want to render this very large so okay we go to parameters render settings and editor here we're going to go eight thousand that's when I can really see when th something's wrong. Like, oh my gosh, his finger's going right through the, you know, that's, and this is something I need to look at too. It's their fingers. Just to make sure. I see like his fingers right here are going through his pants. I mean, through his coat, his hand. <laughs> yeah. People don't normally do that. Put their hand right through their leg. And what I'm going to do is click on this little bone thing. I'm just going to pull this hand over like that. And now we can pull the thumb up. Parameters, bend. All right, that's a little better. And his hands. The thumb. I knew the thumb was coming through. I think I already did this hand, but I think it was still a little messed up. Well, well, I think that's fine. This finger here has got a... Okay, and these fingers, you can't really see these fingers, but okay. Now his beard. I went kind of light on his beard. This is uh, Jesus' beard. Go here, here, materials, filter by context. Materials, now this one we're gonna go to thicker. Let's go and see what this looks like. Yeah. Just 
shows a little more. All right, back to the camera. And we were gonna take the fog down a little bit. All right, and here we go, this one. Did I already do that? No, I don't think I did. Go to two. I think that's good because we want to see the figures. Let's take this light down a bit too. Parameters. The light. Go to three. There we go. This one will go down one. Six. All right. Now that beard is looking a little too heavy. I went up two. We'll go down one. Beard. Materials. It's like a thick, thick. Okay, this is it. How about default? Now yeah, that's better. This one, default. Yeah, I think that works. See, I don't know what the different, these lines, thick. All right, well, what I can do is go into the surfaces. This and mess with the, you have to turn it on. No, not self collide. This one, opacity. doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I know it'll work if we just switch it to brown, dark brown. There we go. Save this. And now, uh, this is going to be rendering at 8,000. So, all right. This is going to do, this is going to do it for me. So thank you. We got a big white screen. It was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting blinded by my computer monitor. So, all right. 
I'll let this render just enough so you can all see it. To see, see it up close and all. Now I'm seeing these things here and I'm thinking, should I put two sub D on the walls? But it's all, this is all, I'm, I'm going to leave this the way it is. This is nice. I like the, now I'm liking this also. Now this just even up close. This is why I render it so large. So I can really see the detail and see. This is all you can, there's all things only you can only see when you render large like this. This is nice. Okay. This came out nice. So yeah. This is a much better flame than what we had. And I had to take the shine off the, the, the boat. You have to look and make sure the buckles are like this. Every once in a while you get one buckle that's kind of crooked. And then you have to go in and mess with it and find out how to straighten the buckles. They're not easy to, to grapple on to find them. They're like hidden down in their little bones hidden down and you have to just make sure they're all straight. It's very nice. Delooms. We wouldn't even been able to read that. The Delumis in. What did this sign say? This big one up here that we moved. It's just got a lion on it. So, all right, we are going to have the Sigmund theme here. And thank you very much. We got uh, art and the people that we've had tonight, Angus and Ted and Anus and N. Cherry. And we had, uh, let's see, Eve was here. I'm not sure who's still here. Software Tools. And yeah, it was nice to have uh, all you people. Anus was the first one in tonight. And uh, we had Ed. Ed. Ed London was here. Yes. And Mr. J. Okay, great. I've got this... Stop streaming. This course is good. Uh, we're gonna get this back. Okay, so uh, it's not very. It's, we got a it jumping around. So I'm not sure how. Who else was here? Did I miss anybody? We had, had London, Angus, and Habib. I think Habib was the first one in tonight. Yes, he was only here for a little while. So, all right, well, thank you, people. Thank you for, uh, we got 14. I think this is the most people that I've ever had in a live uh, session. So maybe what I'm doing with my camera, getting that microphone out of my face and trying to fix the, the keyboard so it looks better and make, make my scene, my, my broadcast look more professional. So is is working so thank you very much and i will see you again in the next easy 3d tv we're gonna all i got all kinds of stuff i want to show you guys uh, i didn't get to the pose uh the camera uh pose app tonight so that's where you can pose a camera and and the camera remembers the pose and you switch cameras and the pose changes and I don't know how that's gonna work, especially with no mesh smoothing. I, I th think that's just not gonna work, but let's, we're gonna try it. So, all right, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely evening. I'm gonna fix something to eat, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial. This was really fun. Angus, take care. 
Angus is the backbone of this channel. He's been very helpful. So, all right. Good night to you all. I'm not sure why the chat isn't working. Uh, so, let me see if I can get over here. So, yes, the chat, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if I switch to live chat. Maybe that's working. All right. So, yes, the live chat. So, uh, apparently, it's been going on and I've been missing. So, it's a, a lesson to me. Switch to live chat. Now, I can read all your comics. What, what state do I reside in? Portland, Maine. We are back. Okay. Yes. Oh, thanks for the hearts. And CDJ, thanks for the tip on the wish list sale. Okay. Yes, that's today. Yes. Um, <laughs> you buy one new item and you get 70% uh, off for five items. Yes, 70% is big. They don't let anything, um, like if you, <laughs> you're, uh, if you're, uh, Tokens won't add more. Nothing will add more. And if it's already on sale for like 30% off, you lose that sale and it's only 70%. So so just so you might as well get something that don't buy something and say, oh, it's 30% off. So I'll get, you know, I'll get more than 70. You won't. So, uh, okay. Thank you. I'll see what new items I like. Okay. Art. That was for art. Software tools, see a rex, oh, see, yeah, see a software, uh, art, make a scene, CJ, CDJ, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, CDJ is uh, one of the people here. A new person, I don't remember CDJ being here, so thank you. And Anus, you have a good night. And let's see, art, Open a new browser. Yeah, I had to um, click on the live chat instead of the uh, group chat or whatever. You'll get some solar eclipse around 3 p.m. time frame. That's if my new camera comes in. I'll see what I can do to get some images. And maybe I'll show them here. Okay, so I've got some big ticket things I wanted to appreciate. All right. That's what I thought is like, you know, usually you can get that things big ticket things for 80 percent off but yeah there's some some hundred dollar stuff that you can get for you know for 30 so yeah tutorials big stuff so all right uh, it's, it's so nice to help people i i love it when when i can do something to and and pass something on that's going to help people so all right take care i will see you again in the next easy 3d tutorial have a lovely lovely evening see you soon bye bye it's rex red please like subscribe click the bell for notifications we got 14 nights likes what more can i ask for thank you thank you thank you for being here bye bye